And so I said, that's not, wait, what was I talking about? We were talking about how the Big the Cat campaign on in, in Sonic Adventure destroyed our childhoods and made it impossible to 100% beat that game. And no one got to see the really cool final boss, which is a really, probably the coolest final boss. I'm going to argue this. Probably uh -oh. one of the coolest final boss in a Sonic game. Uh, are you sure? Mm. Lizard Planet is kind of my Fight homeboy, so. Yeah, fighting a giant lizard in space is, is that cool. Okay, but he looks like a dopey salamander. It's true. That, that's why he was the best. Yeah, but, yeah. Perfect Chaos but looked like perfect, he needed a trip to the dentist. Perfect Chaos was a giant Cthulhu, like, Cthulhu, like, kaiju monster. It was uh, great. But he also looked like a lizard. At what point will he be meeting the Black Knight? Look, I'm just I'm oh, saying, oh, for as for as much <laughs> for as much hate as Sonic 06 get, you get to fight Satan. Come on, yeah, no Sonic 06. That's is true. great, man. Attack you know, from God. I will give I will give Sonic 06 this one thing. The music in that game was actually really good and had no. no business that's not even there. a fucking uh, um, okay, Monty. I'm sorry, but that that doesn't fucking mean anything in the Sonic franchise. The music's good, yeah, and the sky's blue. <laughs> well, that's well, that's gonna be the hard. only thing keeping it afloat. It's its spine, <laughs> and it's so so warped. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I don't know. That's that's what they said about the Mega Man franchise, and I don't remember anything from the last three. Listen, we, we just we don't talk about the Sonic uh, Chronicles, the DS game. Oh the guy, no! Where, no, where the guy, no, the are, we the are. are. Don't the Kurt, don't you have a copy of the Dark I Brotherhood? Have it. <laughs> the minis oh, no. were so fucking bad that the guy oh. who composed the music didn't know how to work with the DS, and he's ashamed of it to this day. Excellent. Can I tell you the best thing about that game before we do introductions? <laughs> what? So as you all know, Bioware is known for their multiple choices when you're faced with a narrative <laughs> thing, correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Now, now uh, the Sonic game that they were commissioned to make, Sonic Chronicles the Dark Brotherhood. I'd like to correct you, Kurt. They used to be known for that. No, no, no. It's just, okay, hold on. Just, just hold on. So... Knuckles is kidnapped. Uh -huh. Yep. Because the uh, general of the armies is telling uh, Sonic, and I believe Tails, and I believe Rose is there as well. Now, now here's what makes it... <laughs> Uh, no, please, I know what you're going to say. Go ahead. No, 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 no Option two, please tell me what happened to Knuckles. <laughs> Option three, the villain path. And this is the best piece of dialogue ever. I clicked it. Ha, it's because he's not as good as me. That's why. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Sonic. Wow. <laughs> I'm so cool, I victim blame my friends. Gotta go fast. It's, it's, it's so... Horrible, but I kept clicking the, the villain options. He becomes Dennis Reynolds from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. <laughs> the, only good, the only good thing that Knucklehead is for is for being a prisoner of war. <laughs> oh, you think that's God. bad? Amy, sorry, Amy, Amy, sorry, not Rose, Amy. God bless her. God bless Amy. But for fuck's sake, they gave her a boyfriend in Canada. What? <laughs> the whole every time she's near Sonic, she talks about how she's not into him and she has a boyfriend, but he just lives really far away. Stop asking questions. <laughs> yep, I remember this. It's so good. By the way, everyone who's rolling in right now, we're talking about the Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood. I think it was a DS game, right? It was, the, was DS a, game. the DS yeah. game. The DS game made by, by Bioware. Bioware. By mm -hmm. Bioware, which this is, is like the only Sonic game I haven't played too. So I, good, oh. good, no, don't ever. No one likes now it. I want to though. I really want to too. Wait till you I find just, out what the. I just, I just remember showing up at your house, Kurt, when I had to stay with you, and I walked over. I'm like, why do you have a copy of Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood? And you didn't answer me. You just went back to your computer, and I was like, well, that's the answer I deserve. I guess. <laughs> Well, that's the end of that. Because <laughs> it was made by Bioware, I assumed it was good. Unfortunately, I was a bit ahead on the curb on that one. But up, Chish! <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Unexpectables. Uh, 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 I'm Taka, but let's meet some more important people. Hi there. Oh my God, is that is that our guest star, Mark Allen Jr.? Oh no. Hello. Victorious Sonic I. fan. I yes, sadly, I am sadly a Sonic fan. I will admit Shut it up. here publicly. I am just going to Google Mark Allen Jr. the Hedgehog. Oh, that's there is a Mark the Hedgehog. It's not mine, though. 
<laughs> uh, I've, That's my I've done research on how to reclaim it, but it's not my mine. favorite. My favorite game to play is take your first name and look up the hedgehog after yep. it. And it's just, it's yeah, so I, I have two black stains on that one. So yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where can they find you though, dude? Oh yeah. Yeah. You can find me on uh, Twitter at Mark Allen Jr. And here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. That's A-E-O-N Pro Tech Gaming. We are starting to kind of get back into the swing of things with streams. I might miss this week because I've had some unexpected uh, things come up. I broke my chair yesterday, so I spent today buying and building a new chair, and now it's really uncomfortable, so I have to take it back. And oh, get no. One. Yeah, this is my life. Damn. It's okay. I'm, uh. I'm here for it. Well, I um, hope I have you on the edge of your seat for this game today. <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> Literally. Zeno, where can they find you? Uh, you know, over at twitch.tv slash Zeno, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and the Ever Inked Almanac on Patreon. Alrighty, uh, folks, that's where to avoid. <laughs> Everybody, 50 feet back. Okay, continue, Zeno. I love you. No, nah, you know, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who just changed his entire fucking profile picture to be more professional. <laughs> who, me? No, me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was about to say... <laughs> Listen, I, the key word was try. Uh, you can find me there at any of those places. Uh, Patreon, uh, more artwork's gonna happen. Comics coming soon. I'm already on, like, out of the 24. I think I'm on layout 12 at this point, so I'm, like, half. I'm almost halfway there. Uh, <clears throat> as for any, like, homebrew stuff, uh, the Hanu had to take a step back, unfortunately, but... I am working on other stuff that's going to be Patreon-only stuff because uh, I'm not too certain how... There's a couple of things that I, I want to make that I'd rather keep a surprise and I'd rather keep them for Patreon eyes only. But the next thing I will be working on is plant people. So you got that to look forward to on DMs Guild. Twitch, there's carts, marbles, and uh, Seven Days to Die, which is a janky as fuck but amazing uh, zombie survival crafting game. Fun. Yep. Fun, 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 fun. Distortion Debaloo, where can they find you? Hey, it's me, Connor the Hedgehog. Uh, you can find ah. me on, on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh, I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, but I'm not here to talk about my stream. I'm here to talk about Dead House Sonata. Dead House Sonata, as you may or may not have heard, uh, is doing a giveaway for the month of September uh, <laughs> for every... 15 subscribers that not only myself, but twitch.tv slash Varric Kaldun, Sailor Midgard, Faceless Mike, Calypso694, and Gaia Green get before the 30th. We'll be giving away one Founders Pack for Dead House Sonata, the action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. Uh, and not only that, on the 30th, if you, uh, twitch.tv slash Dead House Sonata, uh, we'll be revealing the new key visuals for the game. And uh, I heard the word Bloodborne get thrown around when it was being described. And I'm really excited to see it. So be sure to check out twitch.tv slash Deadhouse Sonata <clears throat> on the 30th, um, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. I'll be there too. Excellent. Edward Bosco, where can they find you, dude? How you doing? Uh, well, they can find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. But I'm not going to talk about that. I want to talk about Among Us. For those of you <laughs> who happen to for those of you who happen to catch Colonel Sheru's stream, our lovely moderator in the Discord, uh, a bunch of us, myself, probate, Connor, so he can attest to this, and a whole bunch of other lovely people. We even had a cat show up. It was great. Um, <laughs> I won my first game of Among Us, so thank you for that. I appreciate it, Caitlin. Mm, shout out to you, Caitlin C30, C37, my murder partner. Although I I, I can't tell. I won two games, and Connor was on the, the helping end of the other one. So real quick, just to set this up. So there was a kind of a bet that I wouldn't kill this person named Midnight on every single round I was the killer. And I did. And on one round, I did it in front of the whole group, literally three seconds into the match. Like, as soon as I could kill him, I just did it in front of everybody. And they were like, Bosco, I just watched you kill him. What's up? I'm like, ah, 
you damn right I did. Don't challenge me. I said every round. And somehow, some way we won the round because Connor was the fucking MVP. I learned how to lock doors while he was working. And we single-handedly worked to murder every single person until we won. It was great. I'm a fucking murderer. It's pretty okay. sus. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'm proud of it was the greatest Dad. game of Among Dad. Us I think we've ever played, and it was amazing. Sometimes I think I'm a little too good at manipulating my friends. It's true. You should definitely. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> Connor's just like shaking, looking at his hand, like, what am I? <laughs> who am I? I'm an imposter. That's who. <laughs> oh, imposter syndrome. Well, oh, look who's pointing fingers first without any evidence. It's pretty sus, Zito. <laughs> mm, I know. <laughs> God. Yeah, I name all tasks that, then. Yeah, apparently somebody put posted in the chat that uh, I I won a couple just by accusing Ranger, everybody. Task of Alabast. I'm not. <laughs> Look, I was favorite, I was in electrical. My favorite thing also, to do is like oh, the moment God. we go into a meeting, I'm like I did it, I killed them, and then no one believes me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I was so, so I started okay, getting Monty, killed let's like put you back in the home. <laughs> I started getting killed like round one, three or four times in a row. And then at the end, mm. Shira was like, yeah, you're too much of a fucking wild card. You need to die all the time. I'm like, what? Mm, I guess. Speak, thanks. Sp yeah, but speaking of, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to introduce you last, Nadine. Don't worry. Speaking of, uh, speaking of Among Us, tomorrow, TFS plays some more Among Us. Yeah. Oh, God. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Bu buckle up, buckaroos. We're going back into it this time. <laughs> and guess what? And guess how this time is different. This time, rejecting Lanny Pator first round every damn time. Every damn time, I want Lanny Pator dead. I want his corpses to be in my drink. Why are you JFK right now? <laughs> oh, it's I not, it. not star facing. Uh, nothing bad uh, ever happens Lanny to the Ionauts. <laughs> God. <laughs> The oi not. Okay. Um. Keep keep carrying away from the button, sis. So what? Oh my god! I know, right? I, I do. I was legit salty as f the third time he did it. I was like, "Fuck you! I'm so mad. Let me play the game. Let me kill Nick." Okay. As well, folks. There's some other fun adventures. I uh, I beat Alan Wake yesterday. Yay! Hey, He's finally won. He's finally he, he woke up. Don't worry. But here's the thing. He was actually trapped in a sub dream. So now he's back in the mainstream again. <laughs> oh, think I'm it. fucking lying. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they they didn't do well enough, so they scrapped the sequel and they made and they made a game called Alan Wake's American Nightmare, where yeah. they write uh, a time travel looping plot where you go to the th same <laughs> the same three set places over and over again with things slightly different. Oh, and the villain is also you, but evil. Damn. Good. I hope I hope no one looks at his plans while he's sleeping. I know. I hope no one does that. Oh, boy. But here's the coup de gras, everybody. That's right. You heard it here first, folks. I'm, I'm going to play Alien Isolation after I'm done with uh, Alan Wake. Hell yeah. Oh, starting, yeah. starting Tuesday yes. at around 12 to 1 o'clock. Mm, so boy. here's the thing. I, I have spoken to Probate and several others about this. And I'm going to approach you all each individually. Each episode, I need a team. But we all have to use voice mod, so it sounds like you're calm beating in. Oh, oh nice. good. Yes. That's good. That's, no, no. This is the only way I want to get through the game. If everyone has the same calm bead setting, it actually sounds like someone talking to in the game, it'll add to that extra level that'll make it so fucking awesome. So that's why I want to do that. <laughs> so would you guys be at all interested in that at some point in the future? You should message me, you guys, and the you guys here in my group call. I don't want to call you out now, but it would be a lot of fun. That sounds fun. That, sounds I good. just think... I think it adds an extra level to it. I think that, I think that makes it a lot you, of fun. Is this, is this Alien Isolation? What are you yeah, streaming? Yeah. What days are you streaming this, Kurt? I'm streaming this on Tuesdays. Oh, Tuesdays. Kurt, you know I'm just going to be that one dude from the fucking call in, uh, in Helsing, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your first now, ever role, now, I cast you in. Now, on a scale of <laughs> 1 to 10, how, how comfortable would you be if, if people tried to add to the scariness, like the people who are trying to help you out? Okay, so, so I... I'm going to be honest with you guys. You, I, it, you, the game doesn't need help. It's already... It's already it's, 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 it's Max, what, if, what, if I, what if I got on the mic it's, and in the no, middle... No, it's Max Kurt's fear Geiger counter, what, okay? What if There's I got no on the more. mic and in the middle of the thing, I just go, you are nothing but a usurper. And you're like, oh, shit! Oh, oh, oh my God, that made me laugh. <laughs> that would make me Crossed laugh. Crossover. 
What if you're? you're what, what if you made all of your alert sounds just like horror stingers? Like no, <laughs> that's, like, that's, actual, that's like the sounds of the aliens. Hey, don't steal my idea. That was my cherry idea. I, 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 I wonder. I wonder what would happen if I took my cell phone and then got the alien sounds and put it over the voice mod. Over just, the oh, yeah. You gotta keep the... that. You gotta keep that voice mod on. Otherwise, oh, you can just be like, oh, there's one in the room. Oh, oh no. Oh no. no. Oh, there's five of them. Oh, they're beating me. <laughs> All of a sudden, sounds of drive and just like being slapped together. God, <laughs> sounds like just, just, they're just like lightly slapping you. But anyways, guys, that's it for me as well. Uh, no wrestling this week. Among Us tomorrow. I'm gonna be pre-gaming with Among Us over on my stream tomorrow, even before we get to stream four star. <laughs> my bloodlust will be at maximum levels. But I would like to introduce as well our DM extraordinaire Monty Glue. Hey. Where can they find you? What? Well, you, you said she, you said she was going last, right? Yeah, Gaijin. Oh, I forgot Gaijin Goomba. Wow, wow. Mm, mm. So and Gaijin, for his bonus I, action, I, I just want you to know, so, Gaijin, I so, think you're a valuable member right. of this team, and I, I know, appreciate you oh, as a no, performer. No, mm. I, I, no, okay. I want, I want, okay. I would like to take mm. a moment. I would like to take a moment um, to apologize to Gaijin Goomba's family. I would like to apologize. You don't to even the know them, Taka. I, I want to apologize to all the Goombas. I want to Until meet you are bowing so low <laughs> that your head hits your shins, I don't want to hear it. Uh -huh. I, you know, you know, you know why I'm extra irked because my brand new race over on DM Skill just hey! freaking released. I'm gonna spam it. Hey! That's exactly oh why. My. Hey Goomba, where can you, where can they find you? Jesus Christ! You can find me over at twitchtv slash Goomba, uh, Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, uh, boy, Taiko Tuesday is going per normal. I think this weekend, dude, I kind of want to break out Gundam Breaker again because I just got Ooh. done. I just got done building uh, the freaking 1-100's Master Grade Scale of Shin Musha Gundam. And you can actually play that in game. And it's like, I really want to get back into that game now. Because you just build your own, you just take model kits and hybridize them together to bake whatever you want to actually play in the game. So, um, yeah, anyway. But no, I've worked so hard on this stupid book. I'm so glad it's out. Um, to, to give a little emphasis on, on what it's about, uh... It's Kappa folklore. I think everyone knows what the hell this thing is. Uh, but the big thing about it is that there are five different subclasses. So not only do you have this kind of really interesting, well-rounded, but also really, really by the books in terms of culture, race, but also a whole bunch of subdivisions from it. So you're basically getting like six different races. Um, it, it is all very closely tied to culture, but at the same time, it is well-balanced. Thank you, Zito, for that. Um, yeah. And yeah, I'm just, I the art in it is fantastic. Uh, big shout out to the Gecko Ninja and Yuki Goomba for putting that together. They did a fantastic job. Uh, otherwise, I had a brand new video on Monster Hunter Rise come out over on my YouTube channel. Just look for Gaijin Goomba, you'll find it. The next one I'm working on is basically more yokai in Mario, because there are three that I'm talking about next time, and they're all the pain in the ass of obstacle enemies, like Thwomp Swamps and I, I can't, Thwomps. Yeah, pretty much. And the uh, the Stairface Oni, all of them. So it's going to be good. But yeah, please check out my book a couple more times because I'm selfish. Thank you guys so much. Oh, wait, hold on. You're selfish? Hold on. E no, 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 look at that. Yeah. Oh, Zito, please. Oh, Zito, please. Zito. Excuse me. Excuse Zito. me, Mr. Zito. I'm going to have to ask you not to spam in the chat, please. Thank you. Um, fuck you. I'm the guy with the gun emotes, so eat dick. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, I'm the guy who shot his computer, so you eat the dick. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Children, guys, how long, should I, time, how long should I time out Zito for in the chat, guys? Just Children, stop. There's enough dick for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Monty, where can they find you? Oh, hi. Um... <laughs> Monty, how did you, you're not allowed to make that joke. Oh, my God. I'm feeling bold today. You'll have to forgive me. <laughs> um... My God, she's yeah, DMing like there's one. no tomorrow. Gotcha. <laughs> um, Got hi, you, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. Uh, you can also find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, where tomorrow hopefully we'll be doing Devil May Cry. Last week, my body was dead. Um, but I'm hoping to start Devil May Cry 4. I won't lie. I'm a bit nervous. I feel like Devil May Cry 3 hurt me. and I, You're going to be fine. I know. I'm just so scared. I'm just, I don't. All right. Hold on. Uh, like you anime. Anime. playing it. We're playing it in ultra baby mode, so don't worry. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're playing an ultra baby bitch easy mode? Oh, you get the suitcase. Have fun. Mm. 
Anyway, um, so yes, tomorrow should be Devil May Cry, and then Sunday, which I am having an absolute blast with if you guys haven't caught it yet. My Final Fantasy IX streams are, like, I'm doing the OK symbol with my hand right now, because they're very enjoyable for both me and the audience, like, the chat. Um, I've been uploading all the parts to YouTube. You can find it on YouTube at Monty Glue, literally the same thing. Um, and you can catch up there if you want to, or the VODs on my Twitch channel. Um, also, I'm going to promote it. It's still being auctioned off. Myself and my best friend Draco actually made a, a paladin design, like a tabletop paladin design Ooh. that we're auctioning off currently because mm. Draco uh, was a little, she didn't have enough for a rent, and I don't want that. So uh, definitely check it out. It's on her Twitter, at uh, Darko Draco. Um, you can probably find it on my, my Twitter too if you just scroll down. So yeah, it's a Kenku, Kenku, Kenku paladin, Harpy Eagle, which is really cool. So nice. yeah, that's all for me. All right, Kurt. Yep. All righty. We got a lot of bits to run through. Seven, so you have seven minutes to count off bits, and then we're going to get started here. Good luck. Oh, and why did you Rap have to up? Oh, I'm probably not going to need that because I would like to... <sighs> Did it again. Why what? does it happen every single time you just start to read the bits? Do you, like, click away from it or something? Or... I have it pulled. I'll have it on Twitter and that, and I'll alt tab. I won't alt tab. <clears throat> I just click over on the tab, and I don't know Anytime why. Anytime you leave the tab and go back, it refreshes. Yeah, so really? just stay on it. Stay on it from now on. Don't don't switch off of it, because it always happens when you switch off, so stop doing that for, from now on until, like, yeah. Because it's affecting people who are donating. Yes, it is. We just lost a lot of people's uh, donations. Okay. I can um, bring it up on my end and see if... The, I can yeah, can you? If, did, if it kept yep. a track record of that. Hang on. Good. I apologize, everybody. No, you good. It happens. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Boo, 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 recent events. Uh, all right. So why don't you go through the list, and if I see anything that you miss, I'll just add to it. Uh, not to uh, cause any incident, but the list is only like 15 people long. Oh. Like, it lost mm. almost all of it. Uh, so... It's very frustrating. Bosco, do you want to read it off if you have more? Sure. Uh, I've got from 20 minutes ago until now, which is, looks like it's about... I yeah, that's, have, that's um, the whole sorry. thing. I have uh, F Gear, Masu Bill, Atla Gamer, Queso Lasso, Bag of Holding, Toro Ro 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 209, Redstone, <clears throat> Zombie, Mad Wombat Man, Cobalt Centurion, X Big Lebowski, Volus, Maverick Mentation, Olas Daz, Natural Claws 528, Fatty Tatties. Nice. Nice. Hurtful, <laughs> Hurtful Jade, Disco Tech Preak, Tech Priest, a Raincoat Twelve, the Goblet of Unmaking, Nemo Card, Gentleman, Man, Gentleman, and Ding, in, Gentleman Indigo. There we go. Alcoholic Mad Tom K. Well, thank you so much. And oh my goodness here. All right. Oh my goodness here. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. What is? Uh. Don't click that. I see what you're doing. Don't click that button. You're gonna want it there. I'll get you back. There you go. Okay. Did you just do something? Nope, I saw it switch. I switched it back. Uh, okay. okay, all right. I have no idea what just happened. I just lost my place. You should be good. Uh, Myro Caius, thank you so much for the 250 bits. F Gear with 1,433 bits. First time watching after binging the whole series, including the one offs and mercs. Three months. Glad to be here. F Gear, yeah. my God. <laughs> thank you so much for marathon moding that. Uh, Lone Wolf Lord 525, not to meta game, but I think the situation with the UOC is similar to, uh, Father Corneal from Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, well, hard to say. Olan Dawes with 500 bits. Connor's acting kind of sus. Get him. Yeah, I agree mm -hmm. with that. Actually, vote Connor. Oh, guys, why are you all voting me? Is it because of the stream that, uh... <laughs> Uh, and I want to thank Rippington for gifting five subs uh, to the Unexpectables community. Big thank you to Rippington for gifting them to people like Ron Murrow 92 the All-Star all God, CG, my goodness, Pentagon. Well, thank you all so much, CG guys. Ghost. Lone Wolf Lord with 525 bits. All hail Lord, Gre Fire Lord Greckles. The Phoenix King may reign. The Phoenix King may his reign <laughs> shine as bright as the sun. Did I say that right, Greckles? You see that right? Yeah, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Okay. Okay, okay. The underlying records to make up really focus on that word. Goblet of Unmaking, thank you so much. Raincoat, thank you for the bits. Uh, Mr. U on T with a 900 bits. Hi, guys. Can't stay to watch, but have a fun night. Okay, bye. Oh, my goodness. I missed him already. Blackfoot Ferret with elite bits. The Xenomorph gets picked as the imposter. Everyone gets their task done and becomes friends. Hooray. Limes, yay. 
Well, Blackfoot Ferret, that's, that's the nicest, sweetest, most wishful thinking that will never happen. But thank you all the same, Blackfoot Ferret. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Stu, Stu, oh, one, three, one. Think of the five hundred bits. Finally, happy to give back after all the laughs. Can't wait to catch the vod for this session. Well, we'll see you in the vod, man. Uh, Mister Inktail with a thousand bits. Hey, unexpectables. I may not catch this episode, so I wish you luck. Also, I hope Monty's NPC from last week can find a way into this episode. They're dead. They died. No, no. Mister Inktail, I'm sorry. We need. It's okay. We'll use your bits. Now, I want to clarify. The... It was enemy first, NPC secondary. So don't be too brokenhearted about it. It's fine. Uh, Head Hunter 401k with 500 bits. I'm so glad to catch you all live. Uh, girl, 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 19 kilo, 500 bits. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all for this wonderful journey. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Set out a new you with the five. I'm, I'm sorry. Throat burps. I know. <laughs> Uh, a new <laughs> you with 5,000 bits finished my script thanks to you, fine people. I urged myself on by stopping myself from watching The Unexpectables. Here's my appreciation. Have fun, y'all. I'm so glad you achieved things after you stopped watching us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> mm. No, it's true, though. You stayed focused. I'm really happy for you. It's the weirdest <laughs> thumbs up I can give, but it's still here. <laughs> shout out, shout out to that time when we told everybody to uh, to to get off and stop watching if they had finals because I was a student, and I still stand by that. If you have school, like you have finals, don't be watching Unexpectables. We ain't going no but nowhere, but your grades are. Uh, I would like to. Feed, I would like to f Mad Tom K, thank you for the sub. Fetus Vortex, thank you for the sub as well. There's a name. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait, oh, oh, my brain, why? All, all the boys' <laughs> caveman brains just started going, oh, oh, oh. they all found it very funny. <laughs> no, I found it horrible because I've seen yes. a tornado and that my brain just made it out of fetuses. <laughs> uh, oh. I was going to say, if everybody here, Mark has Now Monty's great. laughing. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> no, I just, poor Mark. <laughs> Oh, I did not need that mental image ever. <laughs> it's I okay. We're going to go talk to frogs. Hey, Mark, I'd like to thank all to each other for a thousand bits for Mark. Seek out secretly Father Mulkai from MASH. You're a dead ringer for his voice. Oh, uh, no, but thank you, I guess. Oh, that's a wonderful compliment. I like yeah. mashed potatoes, too. Mmm. <laughs> Thanks, Gus Davis has the 500 bits. <laughs> not sure how the frog people will be like you once you kill some of their scouts, but, you know, good luck. Thank you, Gus. Uh, Stig Zing, thank you for the 500 bits. My birthday is tomorrow, so have some bits from my end. Oh, birthday. Have a good birthday. Soul Reaper for life, thank you for the bits. I would also like to thank Armored Hunter for the bits and to finalize this really quickly here. I'm going to end on the big donation we received. Very nice of you. Uh, Mecco, thank you for the subs. Uh, Travis, take care with the 500 bits. Uh, so nice to know that Greckle's dad is played by Mark Hamill. Long live Fire Lord, always I. Aw. Horn with Stone, thank you so much for the sub. I would like to thank Mr. Fuck 'em Up 2001 for the 900 bits. <laughs> Fuck 'em up. Time. Really going through a rough time, so this show really helps me calm down mm. after a hectic day. Hey, no worries, dude. It's all good now. Uh, Savanders, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Happy to be back for another week of madness. Also celebrating my new job that I start next week. And congratulations on the new gig. Uh, Tommy, Tominator54, thank you so much for the bits as well. Real metal with the 2,000 bits. Let the fish tail begin. All right, we get to get started. We're a minute over. And Kakui with the 500 bits. Let's go. And finally, the last donation, Seto the third. Set of the third with 10,000 bits. Finally, got a raise from my boss, promised back in May. Thank you guys for getting me through law school and then my first year as an attorney. Wow. Nice. That's right. You gotta, you gotta cross examine the parrot. Do it <laughs> at least once in your career. Are you, you an expert? Watch out for my updated autopsy report. <laughs> Wait till you. Are you an expert on bird law? This is Holy not Saturday, and I'm having flashbacks, and I don't like it. All right, let's get started. So, uh, no, you're problem. overruled. Okay. All right. So, when last we left our heroes, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, Task the Cobalt Ranger. Remy, the Kenku fighter, Panic, the tiefling bard, and a new found friend in Seika, the fire Ganassi sun soul monk. The party is hunting for parts and pieces to create potions, devices, and clothing to, di to traverse the volatile lands of the elemental planes of air, fire, earth, and water. 
First, the party collected drow blood delicately <laughs> and then saddled their beasts to hunt down a froggy myth in the southern marshes of Alabas to procure its lungs to make breathing apparatuses to survive under the depths of the water plain. So the party has made their way to the marshes, slaying giant crocodiles in their wake and taking down a small bullywug scouting party. But now, as the party sails on in their foldable boat on a marshy lake, the party looks over a small village nestled in the center of the swampy waters. So, uh, you know, something that's been kind of bothering me. How are if we going to talk out of killing pe two people? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, if, if we're actually trying to hunt down this giant three-eyed tentacled frog, and if these guys worship it, how are we going to swing that? I mean, it's not like we can just go into the village, say, hey, where's your god at so we can kill it? Then we don't say that ever. Is we there perhaps a chance that they just... collect those? Did I don't know. I, I thought Enceladus said that they worship these these frog giant frog monsters, but that would have been Ire, not a cell. Oh, Ire, sorry. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Ire's the frog, the Ire's the frog guy. Ire's the monster guy, sorry. <laughs> He's Mr. He frog. was a frog in a man suit. Fire <laughs> time. Did anyone remember if Ire said anything else? I remember they said they worshipped it, but that was about the gist of it. Other than the fact that lightning was probably the best way to, you know, fry him up. Beyond that, that was all. Then we need to go in with a plan. It's obvious that we're going to have to lie through our teeth, that's for sure. But how are we going to handle this? Try to find information about where it is. And even then, how are we going to do that and not seem suspicious? I think that's going to have to be a cross a bridge when it gets to its scenario how about this we could possibly possibly scout the area to see if they actually have one of these creatures in their town if not we might be able to skirt past that problem if it's actively in that if it's actively in that village and they're actively worshiping it that could be a huge problem but if they worship it outside somewhere remote then we shouldn't have much of a problem at all. You know, I've been thinking on something, and I know it sounds completely stupid <clears throat> in the long, in the really, like, large perspective of it. If this creature is, like, some kind of giant monstrosity and we don't know how it works altogether, where's the harm in just asking for its lung? Well, that's the other thing, too, I suppose. It could just be ravaging this village and we don't know it. Again, we're doing a lot of a lot of asking a lot of questions and we're not getting a lot of answers. We probably just got to get up there now. What's going to be the reason for being there? I mean, we could we could possibly say we're envoys from Alvas for trade negotiation because why not? <laughs> that sounds so black market. Hi, we're here from Alvas. Let us fucking market your lung. No, 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 no not the lungs. Just to open, just just to get <laughs> task. It's to get in the front door. Come on, man. You know how this works. Fair enough. Why, like, do we all have to scout it, or could you like just Greco's do that because he's sneaky? I mean, if this thing's huge, we might be able to see it from a pretty hefty distance. But if nothing else, if we were to approach this village, we could go in as ambassadors of Alavast. Because, I mean, that's not a complete lie. Uh, While this is I, happening, I'm rolling a perception check to make sure we're not being snuck up on by other frog scouts. Okay. I'm assuming you guys are, like, stopping the boat, just, like, kind of knock, locking into some uh, roots, just so you don't go right out in the open where right. you can be easily yeah. seen. Yeah. know what he's doing, he will either do it himself or he'll help Seika be talked through it. Okay. I think we said that, that Remy was just doing it last time, right? Well, he helped you, and then he eventually just did it. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, task, and just make a perception check, general perception check for me. Damn. Woo. Uh, 22. Uh, as you can, for what you can see, you guys, it's just you and what other normal natural creatures are occupying this marshy lake. 
You don't see any other scouts. You don't see any other giant frogs. It's just you and the village off. And at this point, I'd say it's probably around like four o'clock ish, four or five p.m. in the evening. How how big is this village? And like, what what are the buildings made of and things like that? Uh, you can't really see the buildings. The mm. walls are made of stone. Uh, surprisingly sophisticated. Mm. Uh, it looks like a mixture of stone and mud and like uh, reeds that have kind of been blended together. Uh, based on what you're seeing, and there's a large kind of uh, wooden, solid wooden front gate. It's very well occupied. It looks like. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Does it look like it's guarded at all? <clears throat> Uh, yes. Uh, the front gate, you see that there are two sconces, these, like, kind of these two, um, fire, lit fire areas, uh, that appear to be serving as somewhat of a, you know, lighting to look out and see if anyone is approaching the front gate. Hmm. It also kind of banks upwards on the hill, so it actually has kind of a, uh, uh, what would you call it? They have the high ground. They have the high ground, yeah. Mm. Right in the middle of the water, high ground. Um, and the only thing, the only way you can approach this place is completely from the water. There's no other way around it. Hmm. I guess hide in plain sight, as they say. It'd probably be best to just go forward and not look suspicious. If that is your goal, I suggest we simply tell the truth. As I forget how to speak English. I, 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 I definitely don't want to say we're ambassadors. I mean... This is, is probably a bad... It, it, that's a job, right? It's not ours. So we probably shouldn't be doing it. No, but we could at least open up cardinal relations. I think we did when we killed those two guys, like, a little bit back there. Okay, that... Bo he, 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 gra he grabs you by the shoulder and just, like, pulls you down to his face. Borky, that did not happen. I don't know what you're talking about. If I may, Denka, you do carry some formidable weight with your own name. <laughs> Greggle just turns back and just realistic bird faces back at him. <laughs> uh... I, uh, uh, I guess maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe aside from those hero medals, but aside from that, I, I don't know. It would not be a lie to present yourself as an emissary of the, the realm of fire. Wait a minute, Greco. Yes, that did happen. A bo a a Borky, Borky, Borky. <laughs> I need you. I need you to. He just, he just, he does the two finger back and forth in the, in the eyes. Borky, Borky. <laughs> We that that can't be spoken when we get there. <laughs> unless you want, unless you want to fight upwards of three hundred frog people, you don't want to do that, okay? Well, but think of the story, though. You know, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the just, just the, just the, and then just the push on the face. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, big guy. Don't forget that. Sorry, we just lost Connor. We're trying to get Connor back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're trying to stall. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to troubleshoot in the background. I wasn't going to say anything. All right. We're going to uh, try and change it. We're going to try. It's a Discord yeah. issue. We're going to try and change the Discord. The east and then try Mountain. We're going to change it to East, US East. Okay. So. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, Hold God. Hold on, butts. Hello. 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 Oh. 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 Huh. Everyone, oh, guys, was that like the warp good? to you too? I've Rip been shunted eighteen hundred miles we'll see, we'll to the east, and I don't like it. Yeah, it's up to Connor. He'll tell us if it worked or not. I, I have the strongest like urge for bacon, egg, and cheese at twelve o'clock at night. Dude, that <laughs> sounds any good anywhere. That <laughs> that sounds good at any time in any dimension, dude. That yeah, just sounds Duncan's great. Yeah, is open, I think. Right? Let's just go to. Oh, dude, are we fuck calling yeah, it that now? Go. Are we calling it Duncan now? It's so weird calling it that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, apparently okay. it did not work. So. Oh, hold no. on, hold on to your butts. We're gonna switch back to U.S. Middle, Middle uh, Central. U.S. Central. Wagons, what? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, we're here. We made. Let's, let's just stay here. Let's not go to California. No, I, it's great. I like it's that there's. I, I I like that there's fields. <laughs> there's cows here. 
There sure is a lot of space. There's not though. There are no cows yeah. here. I uh, lived in the Midwest. There's a significant lack of cows. We're gonna have Connor reset his computer and then we might have to resync with the chat. Oh my fun, goodness, but... chat. You get to sync with us. Uh, oh, there's so a that, fucking, a, there's an Among Us dead body. Yeah, it. we could try that too. Um, right. Where is our old Unexpectables call? Do you guys remember uh, if that? If you search for it in the, in the search bar, as long as we didn't get rid of it, it should be up there. Uh, I'll just, you know what? I will just make a All new right. one. I Sorry, guys. guys Today, I can hear you guys oh, for oh. now, but I don't. I don't trust it. I don't trust oh, it. Oh, that's super weird. Well, you sound You great. sound fine. You sound great. You sound great. Yeah, fine, but that's kind of the Give problem. it five minutes. It'll fucking do it again. I swear. Really? How about, how about, how about try a full restart of your computer first before we Good. make a separate group? Yeah. Because you sound fine right now. I also pulled up the old chat so we have options. Okay. Yep, I saw. If I sound fine right now, then we could just keep going like this. Okay. Let's keep if going. It, if it, I've got the, I've if got it, the old call ready to go. If it does it again, I'll restart. If it garbles again, restart the computer. Because the mm -hmm. thing is, is that these channels work better than the actual private calls. So yeah. it honestly would be a downgrade. Anyway, so you guys are idly floating, uh, kind of bobbing as you guys kind of look on to this uh, solid village. I'm going to say, uh, based off of the perception checks, I'm going to say, who wants to try and analyze strategically this village to maybe size it up and see how big it actually might be? What kind of check would that be? Um, I would say perception. Just a straight Yo, perception. Then me. No I benefit from spyglass, no benefit from sight-based bonuses. It's just a straight-up analysis I, of I, the area. I, my, my, my perception is six. So Likewise. It's, yeah, mine's five. I'll go so. for it, Chris. Okay. Come on, buddy. Well, with an 11, that's going to probably be no good. Okay. And then Remy and Greckles, you guys wanted to check as well, you said? Yes. yes. Don't mind. <laughs> Damn. 17. Ah, seven. Okay. <laughs> uh, Task and Greckles, you guys are like fighting for height because it's just there's so much shrubbery in, in your way. And you're like nah, nah, trying to get in and get a good look. Remy's just standing with no issue. Like uh, he's the tall people <laughs> with no problem. Uh, he bends Remy, down 45 degrees whenever he talks to someone so he can get on their level. <laughs> Based off of how large this is, uh, the island itself, you say it's probably about 80 feet, 85 or 90 feet by 90 feet. It's not massive. It's not like, you know, continent size, but it is sizable. Mm -hmm. um, you do notice there is a sizable smokestack kind of right near the center that is bellowing out uh, smoke, clearly some sort of fire or some other chimney-esque sort of thing you're not quite sure um okay. and the walls well, are the tall they are very very okay. tall walls yeah so i'm basically i'm seeing this smokestack over the top of whatever is the perimeter of this village. you see like a plume of smoke coming from the center of this whatever this island is do i see how far the walls go around or do they go through trees and cut off uh, there are no trees. It is like an island. Um, okay. And you see that the walls are completely around the whole thing. Like, you're just looking at it, you're like, that's a uniform wall. Like, runs all the way around the entire village with just the front gate being the only point that is different, you assume. Okay. Unless there's a back do I, gate, do I you're see not any kind sure. of guard towers where they might have people stationed? You see, um, you see the same thing as what uh, Task noticed, um, okay. is that there's two, like, fire, like, little, little kind of... Um, uh, fire points up top and you can't really see anyone from this distance you can't see if there's someone perched up there but it's definitely a point that is like you know clearly a place of observation got it is the village mm -hmm. small enough where i can see the entire perimeter of the wall even if it's just the top of the back of the wall sorry uh is is the village small enough where at this vantage point i can see the back of the wall like for example so it's a circle right so can i see the yeah. back of the circle uh, you can't see the back of the circle. You're just assuming, okay. based off of how uniform the wall is overall, that there is no, there. It goes all the way around. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is a small village. <clears throat> that much. It's pretty small. Yeah, it's very small. But it is definitely occupied, based off of the smoke coming out of it. It seems there are a few occupants of the village up ahead. It can't be too large, although I can't see the back perimeter of the wall, so it's. Hard to tell exactly how large it is. That being said, there is an entry point in the front that might be our best vantage to get in. 
assuming we don't want to make a commotion and want to do this peacefully. That'd be nice. Yeah. That being said, I highly doubt they are going to speak our particular language. Panic, uh, I assume he'll be able to handle that, um, so he may have to translate. Fortunately, Connor had to restart. I was so. going to say, yeah, panic. Yeah, yeah. Panic I will, I will puppeteer panic. Panic nods and does a thumbs up, and his mouth awesome. flashes a smile, and his tooth twinkles. You look like a Muppet, Panic. Wow. <laughs> panic, why are you walking like you rode horseback for five days straight? I am that... grim tongue. I am sexy. <laughs> ah, yes, one of your known catchphrases. Says the Wait. Muppet. Wait, Panic, does, can, can you can you loan me some money then? I'm no. sorry, I don't lend money. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking kind of sus there, Panic. Shut Panic up. Might, be. <laughs> might be. He might. He might just a little bit be uh, the imposter who murders us. I'm still voting Borky. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. No confidence, man. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, so Remy will turn Why? back to the group. Are there any objections to simply approaching from the front and trying to make this a peaceful, uh, I guess, no parlay? No, I, I, I think, I think some good old-fashioned yoning is going to be the best thing here. I'm about, I'm about diplomacy at this point. So right. she like, to, she's a six foot five orc, go or stay. I don't quote. I mean, just just be be your friendly self. Porky smiles. <laughs> yeah, just just like Still that. Things. Yeah, yeah, just just like that. <laughs> okay. Greg, would oh, you what? like to handle this, or would you like me to attempt to parlay? Uh, above game. What's your charisma? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's ten. So uh, <laughs> I would actually say panic would be the best thing. Yeah, but he's not fuck? here, so I'm trying to cover. So somebody else has to talk. Yeah, Monty, if we role play, will you I have a twelve. Charisma score. You'll find out. Just don't cool, ask. Oh, great, questions. awesome! Here we go. For, right. for for the sake of of open communication, I can I can admit that Seika has a thirteen. So none of us are great. You oh, know so what? We're all, we're all ugly as sin. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of on fire. Narratively, so, yeah. I think it would make sense for Greckles to do it. I, I'm not really worried about the stats. I'm more, narratively, Greckles, I think this is... Greckles and Seiko should do it. I think this would be really fun. Wait, wait. I actually... No, no. I have an idea. I have an idea. Okay. I haven't used this in forever, but above game, I can disguise self and attempt to feign a diplomacy. What do you... What would you disguise uh, yourself as? Uh, yeah. a, a, a frog person, but not their kind of frog person. That way there's why, some uh, kind of visual relationship. Why, 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 why not a bog bird? Do, do we even, do we, do we even know that uh, bog birds exist? Uh, well, the frogs might know. Are there egrets around here, Monty? Um... You didn't see any, but you're pretty sure. Like, I'd say he's definitely Greckles and Seika. You've seen herons, like those sort of like birds and like artistry and painting. You've seen the heron. Me and, yep, me and Guy just both looked at each other across <laughs> yeah. the computer screen. What? what? The, the, her the heron. The heron. <laughs> We're not there, it's but it's an inside friend. joke. Okay. It's, 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 it's gotcha. a skate bird. Skate bird joke. Okay. You know what? Let's, gotcha. just, let's just go. Let's just, let's just do old fashioned. How deep is this hole? Hold say, on. I, 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 don't make me advise you against this because I will in game. All right, no, no. Okay, let, let listen, Kuriyama-san. Let, let's just you and me do this. As you wish. <laughs> all right. Okay. So you guys all sailing over with the boat. Uh huh. Yep. Okay. Also, also, really quick, Monty. Don't forget, you've got. You can give us bardic inspiration for our checks. <laughs> bardic inspiration. <laughs> No, I choose not to. I'm going to go with no because I'm pretty sure you're the imposter, but we'll vote on it later. But came back just in time to not help. Hey, Greg! Hey, Norm! Wait five minutes. Yeah, let's see if it works. That's fine. Let's hurry up before it breaks. So we get to the we get to the front door. Okay. Well, Borky is going to wait by the boat. We need to rethink. Yeah, we need to resync. Yes, yep. right, we, we gotta go. resync. No. Chat, are yep. you ready? Right, here we go. Time to sync, right. chat. Hello One, again, two, three, sync. Wait, guys. Wait. wait, wait. What? Hold on. Christ. Oh. 
Connor said stop. Connor's not oh. ready, guys. Too uh, fast. Sorry, I, I was... Okay? Hello again, Austin. This We're is giving me... Again. This is giving I'll me, like, back. our first five episodes. It's kind of nostalgic in a weird way. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, right? All righty. Are you ready, Connor? Uh, as I'll ever be. Okay. Kurt? One, two, three, sink! Sink! sink. sink. One, two, three, sink! Sink! One, two, three, sink! Sink! sink. All right. Hello. Heck yeah. I am Panic Grimton, and my dick is longer than my patience. Oh my god, Panic! You're back to normal! Yeah. That must be very short, then. You were weird. Right. So, shall Would we? Would you like to find out? Hey, hey. Uh, no, no, you don't want that. You don't want that. Let's go, let's go. Mm. <laughs> in, in front Above of the Above game, yes. I don't know. I'll ask Deuce. All right. Uh, uh, so, you guys man the boat and make your way towards the village. <laughs> Making my way downtown. <laughs> there let, it me, <laughs> let me let me hide the village really fast. I I, ju I just thinks. I fucking hope that there's just a bunch of like NPC frogs who dance like the fucking frogs from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> so meanwhile, one of those crazy frog friends. tracks. Would you guys, by any chance, want to do this peacefully, or do we have to kill you all as well? Just uh, to let's friend, let's yeah. mm, let's. Mm, That's let's probably how it's gonna end up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I gotta give you. Might have killed a, your friend without a thought. Give me half oh. a second here. I gotta reveal all That's the totally stuff you guys see. Oh no, she has a map prepared. Wait, it's we have a like map. She... This is gonna be we awesome. Map. Absolutely killing everybody. I will no. describe what the map. I will describe what it looks like so you guys can see it. But yeah. Why now, does a map me... equal a license to kill, Bosco? Well, because there's... You, you don't so know Monty. You have a map, you have to do combat. It's just you, fair to the DM. You don't. <laughs> Mark, you don't know Monty. <laughs> Shush. Oh, shush. Don't make I'm her... I'm just happy to be <laughs> here. There's the option of combat, but she won't punish us if we don't. No one will survive. <laughs> <laughs> We're not murder hobos. Come on now. Damn it. All right. <laughs> And yet. Wow, 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 wow. All right, Fuck here we go. Fucking, I knew Monty's the imposter. Yep. You guys ready? Here you go. Yeah. Yep. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, hey. 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 That's not horrible. Uh, that's true. So we're approaching from. You guys are approaching from the south. The bottom right. Okay. Yeah, the the south, it. the south, uh, southeast. You guys approach hey. up in your boat. Notab Notably, there is no one stationed above on the gate. It is. I, All right. uh, I, I would like. Say, um, while we were on the boat, about ten minutes away from the village, I would have been ritual casting detect magic. Okay. Uh, you detect no magic as you make your way to the okay. gate. Well, I uh, will keep that on. Uh, really quick, Monty. I would like to check for traps because you never know. Um, either. A door mechanism trap, a ground trap, um, anything that might come from the, the walls, because you never know. A frog with a ballista pointed at my forehead. <laughs> you, know, uh, you don't know with this world. Wait a minute. So if you want to visibly look, mm -hmm. um, that will be a perception. But to hey. investigate, it would be another, just to see the general, the door itself. Let's well, let me let, let me do investigation then to check the door. I would like to then do a perception so that I can compliment him. I'm also better at, at, at this anyway. All right, 16. You're investigating. You're uh, that's going to be right a nat 20 for perception. Mm. Okay. So this is not to see something over a distance, though, Remy, unfortunately. This is so just then it's to... it's a 25. It's a 25, time. unfortunately. I'm sorry. But still really good. It's only right. a 25. <laughs> only a 25. Uh, I... <laughs> Uh, I will take it. Continue. Mm. For those level three peasants, it really is. Oh, today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Greetings and salutations, peasants. I have come to liberate um, you. Greckles, as you look at it, it is very clearly uh, locked from the inside. Mm -hmm. um, Remy, as you look around, mm -hmm. again, nothing outside of the ordinary. You do hear, like, music um, okay. and, like, noises. Um, uh, do I happen to see a way that uh, either somebody up on top of the wall or a way that we can alert someone that we're at the door? Good old wait. fashioned knocking, probably. Wait, 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 okay. wait, 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 um, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I have an idea. This this might be stupid, but it might work. Immediately looks over to panic. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing that flute for a little bit. What if, what if we performed our own music 
It's it's non aggressive. It's 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 multinational language. It might be a good way to open up diplomacy, all things considered. Uh, hmm. Uh, do so. Do we hear Do we hear any music coming from the village? You do. You hear like. Yup, yup. You're not Here's sure what the instrument is, but it's Here's like. Here's my question, Monty. With my 25, would I have been able to tell what note they're on or something about the music that Panic could maybe start playing along with? At first, you think it's some sort of like awful deep tone bagpipe, but you get the sense that it's probably like frog singing. That's cute. Oh, uh, like like, like throat singing, singing or something? Yeah, like froggy, froggy throat singing. Panic, have you ever heard the sounds that a frog makes? <laughs> hmm. I've heard the sound the frog makes when it dies. <laughs> just now. <laughs> Is it the same Great. thing as everything well, if else? Ever, if you've ever heard them produce sound, imagine that in song form. I'm hearing it. If you're trying to play along with it, good luck. Mm. Uh, as you guys are having this conversation, you suddenly hear uh, some croaking inside, back and forth, that's kind of on the other side of the door, and immediately all the music inside stops. Oh, oh fuck. Tongues. All right, this... Okay, all right, they've stopped. Real I'm going to start... Above game, Monty, I cannot control my token. Oh. Sorry, let me fix that for you. No, that's fine. You have the weird circled one. It's I fine. do. Yeah. Well, that's because, by the way, salutes out in chat. The old uh, token maker I used to work actually does not exist anymore. So it's like, gone. Oh, wow. oh it's what? Straight up gone. Oh, yeah. Now. So I had to find oh. a new one. Damn, so. I'm gonna have to find a new one too for the crew. Oh, well, yeah. that's the shit. I'll, I'll, well, send good, you, good I'll send you the one that I'm using now. So okay, thank you. Good. I appreciate yeah. it. Of course. All right. Uh, so real, real quick. Is panic in on this dumb idea before it yeah. gets froggy? I'm I'm gonna start playing. Uh, All right. Also I cast also I cast tongues. I am at, I'm going to cast minor illusion to give you a a repetitive froggy metronome beat, and I will attempt to play with you. Uh, I'm gonna go. <laughs> and I'll, I'll oh man, this. Connor, you missed out on the biggest brain play though. Moving right along. <laughs> hello my honey hello my no i can't all no, right no that's not it they, they found that racist actually <laughs> may, oh, may, so may just because we're frogs you have to play a frog song may, <laughs> Mon, Mon, monty <laughs> may i may i performance to assist panic sure absolutely Excellent. go ahead and panic make I'm a good. performance with advantage yeah hey hey here here I'm... I am. Down out, down out. Frog you like a hurricane. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. First of all, they live on an island. That's messed up. Uh, Whoa. Wow. Oh. Well, you know, a soft 30. <laughs> a nice soft 30. Have you forgotten? I am panic fucking grim tongue. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So, what are you making? You're making panic look like a frog, or no, 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 no. I was I was using minor illusion to to do like a metronome frog beat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So making kind of like a a bass yeah. beat. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Guys... Uh, it, it, instead, instead of instead of that, I'm gonna go. Wait, no. Uh, it was a welcome to the jungle. <laughs> we got lots of frogs. <laughs> Where you are? There are so many. All right. As you guys oh. stand there and you play your melody the front door begins to open in this sort of long moaning drawl. Hi-ho! <laughs> Get him out now, Zito, I swear to God. I had to! Oh, it's so hard not to! Oh, he was so getting hard. on that for the last 20 minutes and oh, you know I was it. I sitting on that so hard! God. <laughs> It's like I knew what. What do you, you don't want? Like, I wasn't even necessarily. I, I couldn't change. tell if I was dreading or excited for this session. <laughs> Immediately rushing out, you see two bullywug guards with spears who kind of run to either side of you guys and like point spears at you. Just like not like they're gonna attack you, but they're just kind of like, who are you? Who are you? But you notice that they're actually kind of like bobbing a little bit, like the frogs oh, yeah, in I'm gonna Final give them the, winning, the, the winningest smile. And I'm going to say, hello, new friends. We are visitors from afar. One of them turns to the other one and goes, what strange folk. Their flesh is not moist. It can be. 
Ooh, I was waiting for it. Oh, oh. Except for those two, they're birds, and he's made the fire. They both look towards uh, Seika, and they both kind of like seem a bit like uncertain, looking back to each other. Why have you brought this fireman to us? Uh, Why are the birds so large? What, what is that? What? They point at Borky. What? what is that? They point at Tess. <laughs> I know new, new friends can be a bit strange. I agree. But if you give us a chance, I'm certain we can help our, help each other very, very much. You speak to our king then. Oh. No weapons. Oh. No weapons. Agreed. Okay, so which one of us stays by the boat? I'm more than happy to stay behind. Well, the boat can fold up. You don't have to leave it behind. Oh, right! Yeah, I can, yeah. Right. yeah it's, it's a magic boat. I, 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 Sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm actually, I'm used to games where it's like, if you don't watch the boat, it's going down. I assume you guys folded it up when you guys landed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, turned to the, I turned to the boat, put my hand on it, uh, and I will speak its command word. Um, which isn't coming up. Shit. I'll just say, I'll just also, say where's Stick Money. and Infernal. Money. Where's, yeah. where's, where's Tarisk? You left him behind, remember? No, I, no we didn't. No, he came, yeah. we we came with. He came with. He's with the alligator. Oh, wait, yeah, no, we left him with the... With the you left him with the, you left yeah. him with the, with the lizard hounds. When yeah, you that's, right. Good. that's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Because it was dangerous. And can you and, see and, the unbothered? Okay. Okay. Bolo is protecting yeah. him. He'll be fine. Trust me, I pasted his token and I realized that and I deleted it because I was like, all right, they left him behind. So, yeah. Don't the worry. The bully wugs, as you defold the boat, they kind of like jolt in surprise, like totally bewildered. And then uh, like yes. one- New strange things like this and more for trade, maybe? Uh, the one bully wug turns the other goes, they are either a strange shaman or they shall set a curse upon our land. Should we no, really no, no, bring no. them inside our village? No they kind of like look towards all of you and they look a little bit more menacing now. No curses, only fantastic new friends to trade tales with. Roll a persuasion check to panic. Here, would, you, would you allow me to assist by No, nope, it's on I'm his own because he's the only one who can speak their language right now. Uh -huh. Welcome home to happy this hotel. Uh oh! Yeah. Oh, what is oh, that? Was... Oh, oh my god! That was scary. That was a two and a nineteen, but the the nineteen stuck. So Whoa. I'm sweating. Yeah, it's He's been got a bullet. Load him into the, a gun, dude. The bully no, no, is is my... And they <laughs> enter inside and open the door for you to enter. To which I will reveal now to you the Bullywug Village. Yay! Paint turns around and the rest of the rest of throws up the other one. Oh, oh god! Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> I pulled the key. I can steal. Bro, quick roll this for initiative. Gosh, it fucking shit. knocks to the back of the head with yeah. shillelagh. Got dark sorry. vision. Sorry, oh, it's like go. I'm like a I'm like a squid. I cast darkness by accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> you blasted me eyes. Oh, you guys made me ink. Oh my god. Uh, I. Uh, when they open the doors Dude, for us, look at all started. the freaking. Oh man! All right, so who? How many of you know Shatter? Oh, okay. Let's let's put, let's put that away. <laughs> Are we going inside? Yeah, I'm so scared. scared. Oh. They are waiting for you. They're standing None on the other us, side of the wall with their spears. Like I, us, I know what conversation I just transpired. So. In. Did you tell us that they? He said no weapons to us, right? Well, I I. <laughs> Not okay. I mean, if, if I could give a chance to speak, um, I would I would turn around and give them the okay symbol and say, uh, "Hey, they want us to not bring our weapons in, so I guess just like leave them at the door or something." Well, well, more like don't don't attack us. It wasn't like oh, weapons. It was more oh, just like gotcha, gotcha. weapons. Like well, they, well, they said no weapons. Yeah, like no fight, no weapon. That's sorry, gotcha, I should have clarified. Okay. It got lost in the croaking. I apologize. It's hard to translate Bullywug to proper common. Uh, Remy is still going to make a show of taking off his shield, leaning it against the, the, the wall, as well as his sword, and he's going to leave it there. Okay. He'll do it on the inside so that it's not sitting on the open, but he's going to leave both of his weapons just at the gate and then walk in. 
How dare you stand on Denka? I will have your head. <laughs> Excuse me, I knew Denka first. <laughs> all right, all right, kids, just, just, there's enough, there's enough of me to go around. Don't worry about Whoa. it. Whoa! All right, there's a ladder that leads up. You guys are kind of in like a, uh, like a divoted down, like, er, dugout area. Uh, as you guys go up the ladder, immediately you're met with the eyes of probably about 12 or so bullywugs. Um, some that are mounted on the back of giant frogs, just all staring at you all very quizzically, like, just are, like, are they, are, are they blinking out of sync, or are they all blinking at the same time? <laughs> they don't blink, because they're frogs. Oh, uh, full hypnotoad. Oh, no, this they, is terrifying. Yeah. They all, they all lick their eyes out of sync. That's lizards. I have a frog. They don't lick their eyes. What Maybe are, your frog's what? just scared to do it in Amphibians, front of Connor. If oh my god, can we please focus? <laughs> yeah, all right, so we're in the village. We, we yes. all up in this village. Uh, there are thatched huts. Um, you see a lot of dried Ooh. fish. Um, like, there's currently, like, one of the bullywugs is just, like, pouring, like, a woven, almost plate-type basket filled with dried uh, dragonflies, like, pouring it into a bag and handing it off to another bullywog while not breaking con eye contact with all of you. Like, any activity in this village has now ceased or slowed down as everybody's staring at you. I suggest we I... wait for our escorts. Greetings, friends. One of the bullywugs, like, bounces over on a frog. <laughs> How tall is it with on the frog? Uh, it makes it about, like, face-to-face uh, -face with panic. Not that he's getting in your face, but, like, at a height on the back mm. of the frog standing, he's, like, face-to-face, -face, essentially, with panic. He's about... How tall is panic? He's, like, six foot, right? Yeah, six foot flat. Yeah. They stand up. Their legs are really, really long, so it helps. But, um... The bully will kind of looks at you and says, What strange people are these? What? What business do you have here in this village? Uh, allow me to introduce uh, myself and my team. I am Panic Grimtongue. This is Remy Corbeau, and I gesture to my right. This right here is uh, Greckles. You want to go by Greckles now, right? Uh, you know what? Let, let, let's just go by my real name. Uh this is uh this is Toby Kage, but we call him Greckles. Uh over there is Task. Uh the big guy right behind me is Borky the Orc. And what? this one right here. He is here. green. He is green like us. And then all the other like <laughs> turn and they're like he is green like us and immediately yes. begins to swarm you, Borky, all of them. <laughs> Borky, holds his, Borky holds his hands out like he's Jesus. <laughs> Oh, it's like no. cupping faces and shit, like, yes. Oh, God. Oh, I will hear you, my children. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, I'm trying. I'm not scared. Imagine that one scene in the life of Brian, but he embraced it. You know, oh, like that. <laughs> you watch as the, uh, the bullywogs kind of like gather around Borky. And they all begin to chant in like these large, like for the rest of you guys, it's all just all this croaking in unison. It makes absolutely no sense. Borky, all of these frogs have now charged you without any reason. Um, panic, you hear them go, hear them chanting, large, dry frog, large, dry frog, large, dry frog. <laughs> in oh unison. God. Yeah. yeah. They're calling you a large, dry frog. <laughs> Damn right they are. Damn right they are. Oh, 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 they're learning. <laughs> Ask holds his face. <laughs> you hear a large croak bellow throughout the village, and immediately all the frogs scatter. Oh dear. Ah! Porky falls to the ground. Well, <laughs> what happened? Where did my believers go? They oh. all make space as you guys see across the village grounds the biggest. Fattest frog, wearing a crown of reeds on his head, gently stroking a giant frog next to him, and eating through a bowl of dried insects, staring down at you, uh, presumably the king of the bullywugs, currently sitting on a wooden throne. Uh, behind him sits a 
rather reasonably sized, um, almost like kind of wooden gong um, as he kind of sits and he narrow eyes stares at you like a suspicious frog kind of staring down towards you. Yeah. Uh, is is he visible on your guys' game? Or, yeah, or can I? Yeah, I see him. He's, he's just a regular. He's, a chair. he's right here. He's oh! right here. He's right up here. Oh, I'm sorry. I assumed he would be a <laughs> just like <laughs> like kaiju sized. Wide. Not not yet. Frog. He is wide, but he is not tall. He is. He's not. He's not Gamabunta. He's more like uh, King Zora. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. King, King Zora is a good way to compare the body type. Oui. Jesus Christ. No, stop. All right. Come on. We have fun here. Uh, Panic, do you want to make our introductions? Uh, yes. And he'll he'll step forward. The 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 the, the, the um one that looks like he has made the fire is Seika, and together we are. And I press the dictation a little drum roll. Uh, the Unexpectables. The Frog King doesn't seem that impressed and beckons you to come closer. Oh, fuck. Just well, panic guys, or all of us? You guys are really far away, and you can't really hear you that well. So, oh, so The Unexpectables! <laughs> Greckles will, Greckles will just go. He's just Whatever. going. Panical motion for the rest to follow him. You are outsiders. He kind of stares at all of you. And none of you guys understand what he's saying at all. Except for you, Panic. observation. What is astute? Uh, very, very good. Roll a, just a general charisma check. Okay. Okay! Oh. Fuck. Where they're basic people. Uh huh. 19. Okay, okay. You see him kind of like settle in his throne, contented by the compliment. <laughs> we so take you to the planet. <laughs> oh. what, what is it with me and buttering up kings with you while using tongues? Because it's what you're good That's what you're good at. That's what you're Christmas good for? Is that what you're going to say? No, I'm scratching my, my nose. Listen, if you need something to be in front of something, you have me. If you need something shot, you, you take task. You need something to be sneaky, you find Greckle's friend or something. I don't know. <laughs> wow. Side, side glance is hard. Because <laughs> we can't find Greckle's. The Isn't Frog King good? turns and he says, mm. you come to us with a great dry green frog. What? He looks at Borky. What? And the spirit of fire. He looks towards Seika. Two birds and a salamander. What is that? It you. <laughs> Luckily, you uh, just hear riveting. A a small lizard folk. Did I hear that correctly? Lizard. Yeah, you hear from Panic. You heard Panic say a small lizard folk. A small lizard folk. Is he speaking in frog talk? Yeah, is he speaking yeah, in the yeah, frog yeah. tongue? Yeah, well, well, technically, tongues is I speak and people understand me and I can understand. Oh, speech. so we. Oh, can so hear you're speaking you. in common and he's it, responding yeah. back in a language. Well, yeah. we well tongues, oh. tongues is like tongues is basically just I can speak <clears throat> without language. I the people yeah. understand the literal. Yeah, it's basically meaning. like. It's basically like in any fantasy thing where just all the aliens can understand each other. It's right. basically that. So yeah, we can understand, understand him, but, we understand but not the king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Use, yeah. Well, push the universal you, language. English. All, you're the English. Yours, you, know. <laughs> you watch as the frog king kind of taps all of his uh, little like sticky fingers together, almost like a milk frog. Just kind of they all kind of kind of all come together. Oh. Uh -huh. And he looks towards you and goes, "What is your names?" Uh, like I said, my name is Panic Grimtongue. This one, oh, right. Pat you already you already introduced their names. I'm so sorry. That yeah. was my yeah. Hmm. He kind of taps I... his fingers together and he kind of looks towards all of you, sizing all of you up. Whoa. I am King Grothel the Third. Grothel. Grothel. I'll spell it out for you. Grothel. King Grothel. Is, is it like a like like brothel but with a G? 
It's like that. Grawful. Oh, oh, oh got it. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, he's a third and sounds. possibly an Esquire. We should investigate. Mm. Is this like a King K rule situation? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is Panic translating or... Uh, should change this conversation. <laughs> well, we can understand uh, everything he hmm. says when he speaks. When, but we when the king respond. stops, when the king stops talking, I'll like, I'll like, look over my shoulder and be like, and then we'll translate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll say for the sake of brevity, he's translating. King Grawful kind of sits still, unmoving in his chair, and and looks towards you again. and goes, and for what reason have you visited the fine village today? I'm sorry, I'm writing my I'm writing my notes down at the moment. Uh Vel, um I look to the rest of the group. V are seeking a creature. His eyes narrow and he looks towards you. Can I insight that? Sure, yeah, go ahead and roll an insight. I just want to see if at the word creature he seems protective or like knowing of what we're talking about immediately okay go ahead and roll an insight here i go 14 can't actually read them frogs man yes. one eye blinks how do they work hmm. he just stares at you you're not quite sure what that means we have heard from lands far and wide that a great frog prowls these parts. You hunt a great frog? Not, not hunt. We seek to uh, venerate this great being. We have heard roll tale of it from far and wide. Roll a deception check. Here we fucking go. Wait, oh, this boy. is what you built to do, baby. Let's go. Uh, uh, natural one. Uh, oh, my oh, God. Wow. Oh. You know what? Fuck that. I'm using my inspiration. Bloody. Yay. Yay. Bardic inspiration. Here I go again. Get my own. Own. Oh, 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 all right, all right, all right. And a very, spe and a very <laughs> special fuck you to roll 20 for giving me another oh. natural one on the opposite side. <laughs> right. Oh, it is not cool. Saturday. Fuck you, roll 20. The, so that's, that's the 25. The 25 totally dupes him with his eight. He kind of like leans forward and rests his elbows on his giant froggy knees and his fat rolls kind of roll over his like bottom half. He kind of leans forward and goes, You seek out our great god, Grongulp? Grongulp? Did I hear that correctly? Grongulp, yeah. Grongulp. Gron -gulp. Gron -gulp. Isn't that a football player? No, you're thinking of Grongulp? <laughs> I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. <laughs> you play for the pants. He's a wide receiver. <laughs> 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 the Sorry. tiniest little piece of life. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it wrong, Mark, that I thought, no, he's a tight end, stupid. And then I got the joke. Uh, this is precisely what we were here to seek, Your Majesty. In order to see the great mighty Grongulp. <laughs> You will require a sacrifice that will meet his satisfaction. And uh, what kind of sacrifice is that? Uh, what do these sacrifices look like, Your Majesty? He watches. He slowly turns and looks at Task. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, here you go, S reincarnation of Sasorin. <laughs> hey, money. Can I? Can I do something dumb? Oh, I love it when people I, I, do something dumb. What would you I like can't, to do? I can't, um, I can't hear what they're saying, but I can probably look, like, read his um, gestures and his facial expressions. I kind of want to insight him to see if 
this if, if this is like a ooh hoo hoo, we we get to sacrifice like in a very evil kind of. I'm you want to think is he, is he being nefarious? Is what yes, I'm thank you. Think is this nef is this nefarious or is, is this just like yeah? Is this made up or is this like he's just trying to like you know lead you on? Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and roll an insight. I'd say. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, you succeed. Um, you get the sense that this is how things are done here, and that is the only way for you to see Grand Gulp is to sacrifice someone to Grand. Uh, also, is that a big pile of blood bones behind yeah, us? Sure is. Can I do a quick perception to see what kind of creature it was? Um, I would say Remy can from his okay. position. Um, if Remy wants to. <laughs> if I know what's going on, I will. It's literally a big bloody corpse to your right. Yeah, to the to the to the to the right of you, uh, Remy. There's just a big pile of bones and blood. Uh, also, also, uh, that's gonna be an eight. Oh man! An Unless eight? I have to roll investigation, in which case I'll re-roll it. Uh, that's a perception check because you have to go right up next to it. If you were to do that, you probably would have people get mad at you. Um, as you look, they look humanoid-ish. They're you're not sure because it's a mixed bag. Some of them are crushed. Um, you don't know. It's not animal. You can tell it's not an animal. Uh, Greckles, you will get all that information conveyed in just a very long thousand yard stare. Oh, good. The middle distance. Um, sorry. One more thing. The thing behind the throne. Yeah. yeah poss possible, um, perception. To, uh, cause, cause is that. I described it. It's a wooden gong. Oh. So okay, I'm sorry. It's, that's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. This is King um, Kong AF, and I'm here for it. Okay. Also, no, also notably, um, I've had my detect magic on this entire time. Do I yeah. sense anything? No magic. No. Hmm. Okay. 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 I think I put two and two together. I got to do this really quick. If we, if we, if we set up, if it's not like to to kill the sacrifice in order to summon it, but rather to tie him up and have them actually summon the creature we could easily cut task free and then we just take the thing down excuse me i don't like any of this <laughs> Greg, like, like, like like you all fucking forgot that i'm standing right here do you have a better you have a better idea do you have a better idea all the frogs begin to croak in unison and the frog king turns and goes whoa, 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 why is that one upset whoa, whoa. Gre panic listen you need to tell him that task here is a young dragon and to sacrifice him would bring, bring great consequences to his village. No one in this group is being sacrificed. Okay, they, they can't understand us, right, if we just speak out loud? Uh, no. Well, and um, I don't think th this one, you see, is a... Have you have you ever heard tales of, of the dragons? Of course. This one, I, I pat Task on the head, is a youngling of a red dragon. Within him burns the fire of, of centuries. They all look very quizzically, and he, the the frog king turns back and goes, <laughs> You are foolish. Only great dragons are black that come from these lands. <laughs> ah, but we are not from these lands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> there! <laughs> Wide-eyed, thousand-yard ah! stare! <laughs> <laughs> Panic, Panic, why don't you tell him we have a bar next? That might work. <laughs> you watch as there's some croaking between the, the king and another frog. And the frog king turns and goes, What color are dragons? And the bullywog responds, with, They are black, my lord. And what color are salamanders? They are red, my lord. Very well. And they got turned back and look back towards you, Panic, unconvinced. Hmm. Fuck. <laughs> Side sideline really quick, Panic. You know, we could just pull the plug on this and just challenge their god. <laughs> they don't believe I'm, Wait, Panic, they I don't like believe I... I'm a dragon. No. Ask him if it has to just be a living thing or it could be a thing of great worth. I've... I, I, I say to them in a deep fucking thrall in my throat, in Draconic, I assure you I'm a dragon. One second. Oh no. I also have a backup plan to the back. They, they look at you quizzically. All of them look quizzically at you towards you, Task, as you'd make this kind of 
rough guttural noise. They don't seem to understand you at all. Of course they don't. I uh, hope you won't find this too forward, but do you perhaps have any of the abilities of the dragons? Perhaps a demonstration? I do. Uh, panic. Tell them that as a dragon, I have the power to summon lightning. Okay. Okay. Uh, your majesty, uh, my friend here wishes to prove his worth to you as a dragon, for dragons can summon lightning. All the, all the bullywugs <laughs> all begin to croak with each other, like almost like in agreement, like, mm, that is true, you could be, they're kind of all talking. The king kind of leans back and says, goes, <laughs> didn't you say that he had fire within him and now he can summon lightning? Aha, uh -huh, but if lightning strikes a bush, does it not catch fire? Roll a persuasion check. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah! yeah. I'm so happy you caught it! Oh, that's good! That's good. That, that was a good save. That was a good save. Fuck you! Yes, Did it's so I go. good! Uh, 18? Oh. oh my god, they all rolled in that Let's go! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Which is a minus one. Oh, Ooh. shit. <laughs> They all turned in, they all kind of all nod in agreement, like, and the king's like, well, shit, you're right, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> you watch as the king throws up a hand and goes, retrieve a target. And you watch as they uh, come by with a, like, a crudely painted uh, bullseye target, and they place it right here, right next to the throne, up to the north of where your current position is. All right. Ladies and not ladies, task the kobold ranger. We shuffle away. Okay, you guys okay. shuffle away. Task, go ahead uh, and. Uh, oh, I, I was gonna say I was gonna flavor this. Okay. Uh. So, uh, Task like holds his arm out. It turns porcelain, and the bow appears. All I... the frog <laughs> all kind of like get really enthralled by the sudden change. The sudden like, divine appearance of your arm and get really excited. I spin an arrow from my quiver, a regular-ass arrow. I put it to the bow. I speak in Draconic, Mitnir! And that means lightning in Draconic. And uh, as I say that, I drag the arrow across my mouth, imitating as I'm breathing on it and cast Call Lightning on it. Yes! Okay. Yeah. Call Lightning? Holy I'm fuck. So yeah, I'm sorry, not call lightning. Mm -hmm. That is a that is a lightning arrow. Lightning arrow. I arrow. Lightning arrow. I was gonna okay. say call lightning's a much different spell. That that was my fault. I completely read that wrong. Oh, hey, if Task it. wants to light himself up with a lightning bolt, I'm all for it. You know. Honestly, he'll probably survive and it'll be a badass display. Plus, yeah. technically half sacrificed at that point, just extra crispy. That also <laughs> I have resistance to fire. That too. Well that is true. lightning isn't fire. I could throw you into that. Well, wait, we're trying to prove that. What? what are you? Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> a fun right. game lightning is in fire. In game, we're to hit the target. I, Monty, I have a question. Eighteen. Okay. Yeah, he you doesn't need it. it. Never mind. It's 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 an AC of the eight. It is a target. Go ahead yep. and roll your damage. All right. Just don't so roll a one, and you're good. There, there's six. So that's okay. max damage right there. On top of uh, yeah, on top no. of the lightning, which is four D, I believe. 4d8, yes. Yeah. Oh my god. 15 <laughs> lightning damage. Yep. Yeah, that target explodes all over like the village, like shrapnel flies everywhere, landing like across in front of the king's feet, kind of scattering across the gong behind him. Uh, pieces of it fly into the fire behind you. And uh, to the wet, uh, to the east, some of the part pieces kind of fall into that little pond area that splashes. You watch as all the bullywogs just begin, like all of their necks and gorge, as they all just start croaking, which isn't them saying something. It's like their applause because they don't clap. <laughs> the They're all just like <laughs> like this rah 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 rah, rah noise. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Monty. Yeah. 
since I had to move for that target, can I see what that pile of bones and sure. blood is? Roll an investigation. They're distracted. You can you can pick through. Oh, gross. Come on. 24. Nice. Okay. Um, it is... Okay. So, um, very clearly a halfling explorer came across this place about <laughs> sacrifice. Oh. Uh, you, there's probably about three or four bullywug skulls in there as well. Um, there's also lizard folk bones in there too. Are the are the are the, uh, are the bones like broken or do they look like bitten or? They look regurgitated from being decomposed inside of a stomach. Oh, uh, great! Oh, great! Um, you know, are there are are just quickly looking around, piecing this all together? Is there a tie post? A like tie where, post. So so think think King Kong, where it's like they yeah, yeah, tie yeah. up someone. Yeah. Where Tass just shot the target, that's uh -huh. the tie post right there, you notice. Is there any is there any is there any remnants of blood or anything else there? Um, no. Uh it looks like whatever was eaten was eaten whole. Okay. Does the spewed remains leave a trail leading back into that little pond area? Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, Tass, even the king himself is engorged, and the king seems a bit, like, perplexed, and kind of waves you off dismissively and calls forth another bullywug for counsel. As if he has to discuss something. Alright. Can I... I don't know if this would be... what kind of check this would be, but I want to, like, compare how this parlay is going based on, like, other parlay experiences I might have had? Um, roll a history check. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll say a history check. The great fire toads. Does six. a six do it um. for you? <laughs> um, your noble background helps, but these are not noble people, so right. you're not <laughs> sure. Cool. You're like, you're like, they're croaking at us. It's kind of like... Uh, really not polite and also this is probably the worst reception noble reception you've ever had ever in your entire life uh, um, upon realizing that i cannot keep track of this conversation i will instead do my best to simply perceive and enjoy what is happening around me as i have been instructed to do sure enjoyment with heavy quotation marks on either side yes. <laughs> um task i'm and learning panic. task and panic you have been mm. dismissed like you're being told to leave like just like move away uh, uh, as the king is gonna counsel with hey, his fellow bully I'm definitely gonna well, eavesdrop. Yeah. While while they do that, money, I would like to offer ration over to uh, one of the frog boys over here because I can't talk to him. But hey, food, music, good languages. Okay. Um, you offer a piece of food to him. Yeah. What are you offering him? What do you have in your pocket? Um, I probably have some dried meats. Uh, probably some dried fruits. Okay. Don't we uh, have gator meat? Uh, I still have gator meat. Yeah. It's in the hole. Don't forget that's in po that's in Panic's pocket right now. Yeah. So it would just Panic it would just be hole. it would just it would hole. just be like the uh, it would just be like a trail mix because I'm sure okay. they've never seen that kind of food before. All right. As you hold up a piece of like the meat ration, um, you have a split second to realize as a tongue shoots across and grabs that ration and it's gone in a second. Oh, that's fine. I kind of I kind of tilt my head as to like, hey, how is it? You watch as he like winces his eyes inwards, just kind of like. <laughs> For fun fact about frogs, that's how they actually swallow. They cool. their eyeballs push their food down. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's so wild. wild. Yeah, I love my frog. I just love my frog. Sorry. Frogs are fun. <sighs> Gerps is fat, and I'm so happy. Anyway, um, <laughs> he does. He eats it. He seems like to contemplate the feeling of it because it is dried, and mm -hmm. it seems to make him a little uncomfortable, and it's really hard for him to swallow it. It doesn't seem like he liked it that much, but he ate it, so mm -hmm. there you go. Okay. Um, panic, whoever wants to eat drop uh, between Bork, actually just panic, because you're the only one who can understand them. Panic, roll a perception check for me. Here I go. Oh. Uh, Not great, seven. Well, you beat out their two, so you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hey, I think three. we should. <laughs> it's really hard to hide very loud croaking. Um, as the king kind of kind of turns and goes, if we sacrifice the salamander, 
they could, our great god, Grongulp, could gain the power of lightning. Whoop, whoop. But if we sacrifice the great giant dry, t giant dry frog, whoop, whoop. it could gain its strength. Or he's picking his ear. <laughs> or he's picking his ear. But the one uh, that speaks for them, whoop, whoop. perhaps finally this will grant our god the ability to speak with us. Whoop, whoop. What do you make of this? I'm not in the running! Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna get fired. You wouldn't taste very good. No. Uh, you'd be spicy. Pink has <laughs> has that has that poker face on, but with the anime lighting that's like, oh shit, everything gets purple. <laughs> he watches the king dismisses his side and he kind of turns to you and goes, We have come to a decision. What is your decision, your majesty? We have decided not to sacrifice the great salamander. Instead, we have decided to sacrifice you. And you watch as two bullywugs come up behind Panic and point spears at him. Why? Wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 may I speak to may I speak to him? One second. May I speak to him? Borky goes up to Panic's ear. To bet you don't just go with it. No, oh, I've got an idea. Uh, if that is what will please your majesty and the rest of these fine folk, then I shall accept graciously. This is panic smirking. Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right. Roll All right. a deception check, panic, because you're seeming Here. a little too eager to die. <laughs> Here I fucking please end my suffering. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 30. Wow. Ah, yeah. wow. I wish for nothing but death. <laughs> Even Seika believes you. <laughs> We're having a talk about a panic. Are you all right? They, have, watch they rolled a four. Um, so, so, so that's a little low. So Gre Grekels will actually put a hand on, on Seika's shoulder and just whisper, he's planning something. Whoa, whoa. I'm just, I, I have no eyes, but I'm smiling <laughs> widely. The king looks down and goes, oh, uh. My shit. whole life, I've wanted to devote my my life to something bigger than me. Oh, God, and this is the most in. literal meaning of that. <laughs> Tess, just like what an honor this oh is. God. What an honor. Remy's just going to sigh. <laughs> you watch and as the Picard king lifts, face a little bit. The king lifts up a hand and goes, Assemble the garnishes, and you watch his bullywugs come out and panic. You get like a, a spring of garlic around your neck. Uh, mm. You get chives shoved into every single pocket, uh, oh, and an hey. apple apple put in your mouth as you're uh, oh. you're, you're brought over to the tie post. By now, how bullywugs. large are the leeks and carrots being chopped currently? <laughs> in do, I, do I have like a, do I have like a flower crown of like rosemary around my head? Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah, Can he wash himself with a stick mm. of celery. It's it's I important look, we know I, this. I look more delicious than usual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> So, do you resist? You're not resisting? Uh, I say, there is no need to tie me up. <laughs> I do this willingly, of my own volition. And I take a bite roll, of the apple. Roll a persuasion check again. God. I'm fucking, I'm deceiving them, though. <laughs> I'm yeah, not but they're, it's, exactly it's not it. their tradition, so they're going to see if they can break their tradition. Through ah, these. son of a bitch! <laughs> God, these guys suck ass. I love them. <laughs> I love them. Uh, oh. 26. Yeah, no, you beat their six. Yeah, you're good. Oh. <laughs> you watch as they, like, they're going to tie you, and you're like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. And the king kind no, of goes, I, I, the I, king I, goes, good, it sullies the flavor anyway. I, 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 fold my, I fold my hands behind my back, and I just ready for my fate. <laughs> all right, all the bullywugs back away. Denka. Cautiously. He may have a plan, but should we as well? We probably should. Amani, our, our, our... I, I, I look at them and I cast Thaumaturgy and my eyes say, you probably should. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought, oh, well, but Panic said he had this. Ah, oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Could he, I don't so even dumb. know what happened when we this drove into so town. Stupid. I love D&D, &D, man. All this right. is really <laughs> stupid. Welcome to, welcome to Gaslighting. It's our favorite game. <laughs> all right, all right. So all right. Gre Grekels will lean back to, to take a... Could Amazon just just follow my lead? Uh, 
money, when they're good and distracted, I am going to make it a point to go hide behind this hut. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, Panic, you were, you were in place? Mm -hmm. uh, I guess, I guess I'll, I will also hide behind the hut. I am just <laughs> inching my you. way. I'm inching my way. You can hide behind over. the hunt. You can just hide behind it. Oh, okay. He's not going to yeah. hide. He's no going to stand gonna in an advantageous position. There are there are other position. bullywugs that are hiding behind various things, and not fear, but in anticipation. Uh, is, as, is is this spot no good? That spot's fine. Okay. Uh, this we spot here is do, you can't uh, go here. That's that's that's, that's, that's what I was asking. Yeah, okay. that's occupied. Um, you watch now as Panic is covered in rosemary, chives, has an apple in his mouth. Can, uh, mm -hmm. can I make an? Can I make a stealth, a stealth check? Yeah, sure. Make a stealth check. You okay. don't really know what you're hiding from, though, so you can't really stealth too effectively. But you can at least duck behind and hope. Oh, uh, boy. oh, that net twenty. Oh. Oh. Twenty-three. You you mm. blend in pretty well. Your hat blends in really well here, actually, and your little cape. Um, so you guys all stand at the ready as you watch as the great King Grothel the Third. Uh, reaches behind himself and with his tongue begins to barrage the gong, the wooden gong that rings throughout the village. And you begin to see bubbles forming at the pond's surface. I still have detect magic on for the time being. You do. Uh, this creature uh, does not emit magic. Okay. But you guys watch as emerging from the pond, almost perfectly fit into the space in which it occupies... Oh, a God. giant creature emerges. I like them big. Here it I comes. like them chunky. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it is a large amphibious-like creature. You watch as slipping out from the water come four massive wet tentacles. At the top oh. of its head are three eyes set upon a stalk and a wide gaunt mouth flicking in and out a large wet sopping frog-like tongue with barbs at the end. It crawls out from the pond and stands up firm with two solid frog-like legs. As it moves, the very ground shakes as this large mass flabby form moves forward. I'm beginning Immediately, all of the bullywogs begin to chant, All hail Gron Gulp! All hail Gron Gulp! as he makes his way towards you, Panic, and in an instant grabs you and swallows you whole. Whoa, wait a minute. Do you try to resist? I had something planned. Oh, sorry. Okay, well, we can... <laughs> I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't just going to let him do it. Oh, okay, I'm just going to die. All right. <laughs> well, hey, this game. My plan was to die. I succeeded. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome you want it? to die. Your, per your persuasion check was so effective, it affected me. So, so yeah, <laughs> my bad. So, and for his bonus the, action. The second he goes to snap me up with his jaws, I okay. cast mislead. Okay. I create an illusory duplicate of myself in my space, and I turn invisible, and I'm getting the fuck out of there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Click mislead wow. for me. Uh, it's not as big of a wall. Uh, you okay. become invisible at the same time an illusory double of yourself appears where you are standing. <laughs> the double lasts for the duration, but the invisibility ends if you attack. Or cast a spell. You can use your action to move up your illusion double up to your twice your speed and make it gesture, speak, or behave in whatever way you choose. You can see through its eyes, hear through it as if your ears were located where it is, and on each of your turns as a bonus action, you can switch from using its senses to your own or back again. While you are using its senses, you are blinded in indefinite regard to your own surroundings. I'm not using that part of the spell. Yeah, you don't want to go where this thing's going. You don't uh, want to experience um, the joy of being absorbed into his eminence. Hey, Monty. Yeah. Can I roll a perception check to see him cast something? To know what the heck's going on? It's somatic components. It is somatic, so you can't see, you know. Especially as this thing has moved in between you and him. There's no way you can see panic from this position where yeah. you're standing. I'm going, I'm, I'm so you going, guys, to, so I'm going working... to have my illusory double leap freely. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Swan dies. Finally, in the and I'm, your life. I'm I'm just gonna have it be like be like screaming and gushing blood. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> there's really there's really no time to scream as you are swallowed whole, and there's no blood. You are just full on swallowed whole. Where I'm going do over you? Here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Forky, you watch as panic is swallowed whole alive. Uh, well, did he happen to mention I, the next part? I could I could I like peek around the corner and like look at one of my companions? Uh, sh sure. Are any, are any, are any, from this from this location, would any of my Task, companions? Task Remy fight? and Greckles cannot see you. There's a giant frog in the fucking way. Borky well, is the Borky. only one who could see you from your position. <laughs> I'll, I'll cast a message from my position then. I'll be okay. hiding behind the shack. I'll say, I'm not actually inside that thing. I'm I'm behind the hut. Don't. Just don't so you know, if you do that, it would it would break your illusion. Your, nope. uh, it would. But he's behind but the hut. He's I'm, already oh, been oh, behind the hut. Okay. I'm, I'm already right. hiding, so, but I'm, no, I'm, right. yeah. okay, cool. I'm over here. Yeah. Yep. As that's you cool. get that message, Borky, you notice as the frog hemoth stops and doesn't seem satisfied. I, 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 I look at the well, chief. I hold on. I look at the chief. Uh huh. I cast message on him. <gasps> oh yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Oh, I'm God. going to speak into his mind and say, "This offering pleases me, but I still hunger. Offer yourself." To me, and I will be pleased. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh. Roll, a, roll a deception Come. check for me. Uh, oh my god! Uh, wow. Okay, so. <laughs> Come on. Yes! Oh, this 20. is going so different than I thought. Soft it 20. Hey, These believe guys... I rolled double seven. <laughs> These guys are so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Monty, I'm sorry. I'm You're sorry. not they're not built for this. I love you, Connor! Bard shit. If they <laughs> rolled another <laughs> natural <laughs> the king rolled a natural one. Oh, <laughs> oh, you, watch, you watch as the king of the bullywugs, King Groffle the Third, opens his arms and it croaks out. You guys can't hear anything. Panic, you hear. At last, I am chosen as he just gets <laughs> swallowed oh completely by the frog hemoth. Uh, wait. Hold this, on. This wait. is... And uh, immediately all the other bullywogs, like, kind of stop their cheering and all look around like, you know, that, that, that Chuck E. Cheese animatronic? Like, wait, like, what? Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Banjo music stops. <laughs> <laughs> they all fast bare face like ding. <laughs> it's like they were all playing Dude. music and it just dead ass stopped when that happened. <laughs> Immediately, uh, the frog hemoth lets out a bellowing roar and looks towards the rest of everybody. And I need everyone to roll initiative for me. Let's go! Oh my God, I can't believe you just Connor. Failed. That was so that great. Was, that was, that was so amazing. Good. Yeah. That was insane. <laughs> Holy okay. shit! Twelve. Oh my Nat god. twenty. Oh, nice. Jesus. And we're actually gonna take a break here before we start combat. Oh my god! god. Oh my god. Top god. tier, Connor. <laughs> top tier. That was I'm top sweating. tier, man. I'm sweating. That was oh good, dude. God. That was the positive god. karma you deserve after the bullshit you dealt with at the start of this session. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. There, yeah. Speechless. Uh, seventeen is my initiative. I seventeen. I can't believe I pulled that off. That is. Fucking so damn, good, man. I need a bite. I'll be right back. <laughs> I didn't even know you had mislead. I knew he'd had it, but I forgot. <laughs> didn't he use it in the uh, in the? I I did the it in room? the uh, in the fucking chamber with the yeah. United Orange clergy. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah, you did do that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get me a drink. Okay, let me have Borky. Monty, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? what are you, dude? I I Why, said that was brilliant. Up anything could happen. This is funny as hell. It is. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck. I'm sweating. 
I don't like this was I'm like, here's the village, figure it out. Like come <laughs> you can, I'm like, you can come in guns blazing and take over the place, or you can convince the king to sacrifice himself to his own god by using message. <laughs> oh Cantrips, <my> baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Because of tongues at work. That was intelligent <laughs> AF, Connor. I am so impressed. Porky and then Remy. Oh, I. So I just want to make sure I have everybody. I have Tassic, uh, Panic, Borky, and Remy. You have Greckles? Oh, Greckles is who I'm missing. Where's Greckles? Yep. Oh, well. he was up. He had 12. So he is. Uh, he's going before Borky. Okay. Man, I have no first level spells memorized. Why do I have no first You're level good. spells memorized? I have one, two. Three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna grab a snack. You guys entertain the good people, and I this will, is. I will take care of the chat. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the chat know what's happening over the next yeah, couple of weeks. Do it. Things are, yeah. I'm going so, to play. bye, bye, Connor. So first of all, right. hi guys. Welcome to the Edward Bosco halftime show. I'm here to keep you entertained while people uh, stretch their waters and get some legs. So, real quick. We have two exciting things. If you haven't heard, I'm going to announce them right now, but we talked about it on the last couple episodes of the Prince Division and Unexpectables. But starting in October, it is Orktober. So for those of you that have a calendar in front of you, awesome, you're prepared for this announcement. For those of you that do not, what that means is next week on this channel, uh, uh, Wednesday, 7 o'clock PST, we will have one more episode of the Unexpectables. But starting October 7th, Connor will be running Orktober with the crew the crew that you all know and love with a special guest monty glue who will be joining us as the fifth orc of the crew it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be freaking hectic that's all i'm gonna say i, I monty keeps telling us little tidbits about her character and i i can't wait to see how it plays with everybody and then on top of that as you know we have another game that we play on this channel on saturdays at seven o'clock pst called the prince division if you haven't checked it out i highly recommend it very different feel from the unexpectables but good nonetheless so that also has to go away for october however it's going away a week early which means this saturday will not be the prince division this saturday will be ravenloft i will be coming back as a dm for the first time since shadow war to run some ravenloft for five weeks and yeah, it's going to be crazy. So the players in that game are going to be Monty once again, Connor. If you can tell, I'm starting to get a little bit of the Shadow War crew back. Mark Allen Jr., who is what? from the original Shadow War universe. Yeah, that's right. Nice. Yeah. So he he's OG Shadow War. And then we've also got Chris Zito, who I've never had the chance to DM before. So I can't wait to see what that's all about. And then we're having a very special guest as our fifth player, somebody who's never been on the channel before as a player, as a get any sort of anything. Theropod will also be joining us for Ravenloft. Mm. I'm nice. super stoked. I'm super excited. So Orktober, Ravenloft, it is the perfect way to celebrate the month of October. It's going to be spooks. It's going to be scary. It's going to be skeletons. And it's going to be wog. That's what's going to happen. That was a <clears throat> sentence that you just said. Yeah. It's true. It Words came out. They were apparently English. If you are and I yep. believe I heard I them. I don't have my headphones on. You should have. Uh, now, I should clarify because I saw somebody mention this in a bit drop at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> so I am not running the Curse of Strahd module. I understand that Monty's already played a little bit of it, so I didn't want to spoil anything for her because apparently she hasn't read the book. I also don't want to spoil it for anybody out there who's either planning on running it, planning on playing it, or already has and might start metagaming and dropping that in the chat. So... I will be using the lore from the books. Where it takes place during the Curse of Strahd, or if it does at all, is up in the air. So I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. But I am doing my best to avoid spoilers for the module because I don't want to ruin it for Monty, for anybody out there who might be listening, or for any potential DMs who might be running it for players that stumble across it. So I'm going to do my best. I will say there's probably going to be mentions of NPCs and characters that are in the Ravenloft lore. There will obviously be mentioned to things that are in the module, but I won't go into a huge bunch of detail. I'm trying to create it from the ground up. It's tough. I'm trying. So I apologize if any of the names you hear spoil any little tidbits for you. But I I'm trying to keep it. I cannot believe. I cannot believe you spoiled Strahd. <laughs> Wait, oh. Strahd? No, no, I didn't say Strahd was going to be there. Strahd's going to be there? I'm kidding. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. No, no, no. I can't, I can't it's believe we're going to be Strahd. It's going to be his cousin Broad. Hey, dude. Can, uh, my can name is Cousin Broad, dude. 
Can we have a Curse of Strahd campaign, but it's the three vampires from what we do in the shadows? Oh, God. Oh, the dude with the coat on his head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Mm, that'd be good stuff there. Hi, a couple of people got to thank out here real fast. Did we thank Probate and Shady S24? We haven't thanked no, anyone yet because Bosco doesn't know how to shut up. Oh, Probate I with a thousand bits. All of the garnishes, but no salt and pepper. But they'll never satisfy their god with such lacking cooking skills. 1,000 <laughs> bits. It's true. There was no spice at all in that. Ladies and gentlemen, salt mm. and pepper. Pepper! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Shady S24 with a 15 to 100 bits. Connor, your playthrough, that entire scene absolutely rocked. Congrats on those successful rolls, my man. And empty potion bottles with the 500 bits. All praise to bardic machinations of one panic grim tongue. Indeed. I'd oh, Kazar like with 500 bits. You've destroyed this community and their way of life. <laughs> oh, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Must go. Uh, Borky, Borky, Borky's got a fall. Don't worry, Borky has a fallback plan. Don't worry. Borky Dude, it was built on a house of cards. What do you expect? Five, five <laughs> minutes and we ruin a civilization. That's not <laughs> true. Just wait. How many people does it take to destroy a frog village? One, if it's panic. <laughs> I see. The Nargakuga Tamer with the 500 bits. Title episode, It's a Frog Eat Frog World. That's Okazar oh. with the 500 bits. You, thank you so much for the 500 <laughs> bits as well. Bio Cam Knight with the 500 bits. The Bard Extraordinaire. Mm. That may be one of the best things I've ever seen. It's pretty strong. Pretty strong. It's up there. That might be one of my favorite plays Connor's ever done. He's done some pretty cool plays. I was going to say the dinosaur drop was pretty legit, but that was even <laughs> on that. That was on that level. <laughs> I feel like Dino Drop was like team effort. That really was. It was. Yeah, it yeah. was. Still impressed Dino, to Dino, drop, Dino Drop was, was the best useful play that I've yeah. done. This is... <laughs> It, we, this, this, is a this, this, this is this a this was useful. This, this is a Borky plan that's gone off without a hitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Borky be like, don't worry, I'm going to cut myself out from the insides. <laughs> oh, no, the inside's harder than the outside. Ah, fuck, it didn't factor that. Oh, no, shit. All right, I'm going to need somebody to cut from the outside to the inside. Oh, don't let me right, get I'm cripples. I need an old bird and a new bird. Ready, Greckles, get on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Nah, fuck's sakes, man. Everything hurts in here. Everything stings. Ow. Ah! <laughs> just yelling. <laughs> the acid starts running. Uh, Travis, I care with the hundred five That may not, maybe not an appropriate name, but episode title: Kermit to your god. Jesus. <laughs> oh Kermit to your god. That's Firing away with five hundred bits. You didn't leave Taras. Monty said that he would wander off. Oh well. Yeah, bored and kind of wander off. Verdi and Winter with five hundred bits. Death to the frogs. Right hundred three three five with a four hundred bits. I hope Monty is playing a flash kit. I can see him playing a massive gun. <laughs> on TTSO eleven with the five hundred bits. I don't know. I feel like there could be more frogs. I think you umbertastic as well for the follow. By the way, uh, bot, for, the, for the sub. Uh, by the way, real quickly here, I wanted to. Uh huh. Uh, oh, uh, uh, now, um, uh, Zito, you just got back, right? Yes, I'm here. Uh, someone pitched the title <laughs> of this episode called "Kermit to Your God." I know. I heard that. I'm just. I think, oh. mm. What about, it's good. What about committing what about, genocide? Yeah. <laughs> committing genocide is insane, that's Connor. That's bad. A, that's bad. That's not nice. That's, 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 he's to, not wrong, but I damn. Love, time out, time out, time out. I want to recap what happened in like the last hour of technical gameplay. We ki we straight up killed one of Monty's NPCs. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we have we have forced sacrifice the leader of her beloved frog crew to be eaten to by their pseudo frog god. For what I just, it's worth, it was, Monty it was about to be laughing time. the entire time. You, listen, you have to listen here right this second. It was about that time that Monty realized she had a rainbow connection. God. Anyway, I, 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 there are no words for what just transpired. Also, to clarify, because I keep seeing it in the chat, so it is this Saturday, 7 o'clock, PST is the start time for Ravenloft. Yes. Yeah. Correct. That. 7 o'clock, PST this Saturday. There, I'm done. I'll be sure to raid you. Thank you, Greckles. Thank mm -hmm. you, Greckles. Anytime, Get your ass back in the fight. Whoa, that was oddly sexual. <laughs> I, like, I like them rejects idea. Oh, stop panic. it. Don't do that. Get back in there, Spartan. <laughs> Chief, you want to tell me what you're doing? I'm sacrificing no. a frog. They're God King. <laughs> I'm delivering. I'm sending Sir. their package back to them. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> going going sacrifice mode. 
You know what my favorite thing is about being the master chief? What chief? I get the shit standing up. <laughs> when you when you hit that plasma grenade just right, and you can say with great gusto, "Red team has the flag." You know, I had a thought. I don't know what's happening anymore. You know, no, it's okay. what? we're just we're, we're doing it. Practice. We're vamping for time because I think we. I need was to. talking about this with somebody. The 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 announcer for Halo has gotten more aggressive because in the original Halo, you're just like, tie the leader, double tie the kill. leader. But then you listen to you listen to him in like the, the newest games. He's like, Stuart, yeah, double <laughs> yeah, kill. And it's like, what? Where's the, the fucking money? Where's the bomb? <laughs> It's like okay, man. I get it. Now I now now I just want to hear him make up words as you go along. Give me a second here. I want to find appropriate frog battle music. Yeah. I want to say. I want to say. Talk. It may actually have been kind of cool though if we were able to convince them to eat gripples while you activate them. Dude, that was one of my strategies. The other one was working to volunteer and just fight his way out. God. No, I'm two well, for the end. I'm, I'm two for two, Logies. I mean, I mean, 68, 68 acid damage per turn sounds like something you would be able to handle. Oh, does that, it? Exactly. I should like 68. You'd be able to take that for around. Look, man, if, look, if I can, if I can tank freaking oh, right, the Red dog. Death, he can handle acid. Are this we is, back this in is, it? This is a... Uh, That'll work. Oh, that's, yeah. That, that's both tribal and when battle music. You walk Ruby. away, you don't hear me oh. sing. <laughs> Please, <laughs> babe. Bro, not everything right. is a remix of Kingdom Hearts. So, Give it to the B, Sora. Are we all, actually, are we all good to is. get back together? Are we good to yeah. start? Yeah. yeah. All righty. So, as we return to the Unexpectables task, you are up first as this frog like creature is now scanning around itself, mm. choosing a delicious new target. Hmm. I don't like that. One moment, please. Uh, one, two, three, four. Calculating. Uh, Fifteen. Yep, uh, calculating. calculating. I'm gonna move okay, right on over frog. this way. I'm gonna move on over this way. Hey, Monty, could uh -huh. I shoot a? Could I shoot an arrow through the fire at this thing? Yes, it will not light the arrow on fire and apply fire damage, but you can. I will let that happen. Okay, no, because I was just like, you know what? That doesn't. I don't. I don't care if it does the damage. I just want to shoot through it. Because I okay. want to give this thing, I want to. If this thing aims for me, it's got to get around the fire. Hmm. So, uh, right. I'm going to. So, will you allow me to do this? First hit, just like a regular arrow, and then second hit, if it does hit, bonus action, a lightning. You have to apply the bonus action before or after. You can't uh, apply it between shots. Well, I kind of have a wee bit of confidence that my arrow might be able to pierce through this thing's girth. So I'm gonna do it anyway. So yeah, either you have to do the bonus action before you attack, or you have to do it at the end of your turn and then use it the following turn. You know what I mean? So you can't gonna, like just wait fine. until you hit for it to oh, work. Oh, dude, no, that's fine. That's fine. Work. I'm gonna I'm yes. gonna bust the fuck out of that girth. Let's go. All right, first bonus hit. Bonus action. Twenty nine oh, to yeah. hit. Oh yeah, wow. big meaty target that hits. Right in his fold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Seven, Seven piercing. piercing? Okay. On top of 4d8 lightning. One second, let me just quickly do math. All right, go ahead and roll damage. Buh. 18. Oof. 18 lightning damage. Okay, that really hurts it. Let me just quickly do math again. Uh... That's gonna bring it up to that amount, all right. As you shoot it, you watch as the tentacles kind of kind of seize up a little bit as it's hit with the lightning damage. Its eyes kind of roll back and it's like three stalked head and its mouth kind of uh, kind of locks in place. That seemed to have hurt it and nice. may have had an additional effect. Actually, sorry, one second. I hope that was 18 points of damage. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right. The damage itself didn't seem to do too much, but it did seem to have a secondary effect, which appears to be taking full force on this Farkimoth. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? That was your bonus action action. That was my that was my bonus action oh. first attack. Now I'm on and my second. Second attack. Yeah, go ahead and roll a hit. Whoop. 16. Got hits. Yep. Cool. So this plus Colossus Slayer. Oh. 11. <laughs> Jesus. 11 oh. plus. 
Six, Rangers 17. are underpowered. <laughs> <laughs> they are He's not. not even using sharpshirt. That hurts. You strike it twice, two solid shots in its body. You kind of try and aim for the eye stalks, but they're, you're like, forget it. It's way too small of a target with too much big meaty frog flesh between it and that. You get two solid shots in as this thing seems to be annoyed, but not pained in, by any means. All right, I tag. <laughs> Seika, it's now your turn. You're up next. I'm going to pass my turn until after Greckles. Do you want to hold your action to not lose your turn? I don't know what action to hold because he told me to follow his lead and then nothing happened, so... Okay. Um... Hmm. Can I move below him in the initiative order? Not really. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's can... not 3-5, Mark. They don't get... Yeah. No! Yeah. Um... Trust me, I've tried multiple times. <laughs> Here's what I will do. I... Uh, you can hold your action to say, like, I'll attack if Greckles attacks. Yeah. You could do that. That's what I will um, do. Or I'll move when Greckles moves. You could do that if you want to. I'll, I'll allow for that if you want to move and attack if Greckles moves and Here's attack. what I'll do. I will pull out a dart... Okay. Uh, and hold it and look towards Greckles for some indication of what to do. And oh, he grins. If he if he allows me to move uh, on his turn, then I will throw the dart uh, as a as my action. Oh, he's he's happy. He's so happy okay. you pulled that out. <laughs> so hold action, attack with dart when Greckles attacks will be yeah. the trigger. So yeah, basically for holding actions in uh, fifth edition, people homebrew it in various different ways. The way I do it is that you have one action. And right. you need to have something that triggers that action. So right. almost like a video game would have a trigger, essentially. Yep. So no, you're you're waiting for something to happen. You're reacting to it. If all right. In, attacks, in coding terms, it's a bullion. Exactly. Um, all right. It is, it is now the Frog Kiva's turn. I made that joke so many times in college. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is going to go for the... It has two very close targets. <laughs> But Borky is the closest. Oh shit! Uh -oh. You might this get your wish. Comes lumbering. Shit! You. Oh no, it's approaching me. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel its chakra. There, sorry, I gotta read chakra. a lot of text. Give me half a second here. It's frog oh no, frog. is this frog smoking a giant cigar? His just ribbit like the Naruto frog. His ribbit is greater than yours. Oh dear. Okay. So guys, we have a couple seconds to vamp here. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna explain why he was breathing smoke, but that's a little too nerdy, weebish. I'm having a hop okay. a good time. Oh my god! Uh, Fuck you! I'm on a roll this session, <laughs> <laughs> dude. You keep this up, man. I'm just gonna croak. I know, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is a warty back. situation. We don't want people to jump ship. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I guess one could say the future is amphibious. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. This situation is making me feel a little green. Borky, the frog <laughs> is going to attempt to eat you. Uh oh. Fuck! Yeah, echoes Who of the Remoraz, buddy. Is he going to try and eat me? Yeah, but I don't think a 14 hits you, does it? It doesn't! You are yes! so lucky because it automatically would swallow you if it, if it hit you. This oh thing goes, goes to swallow you and you sidestep and it just takes a huge chunk of dirt and just swallows the dirt. And then like kind of up chucks it and looks very perplexed and confused. Can Borky just yell something? Uh, yes, you may. Borky just yells, I think panic's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, the frog emith ends its turn and you watch as it shakes off that static effect on its body. It seems to be back up to snuff. Oh, uh, God. That ends its turn. Panic, it is now your turn. Oh, here. What do the bullywugs look like? I want you to imagine <laughs> like a college classroom and the teacher just exploded in co into confetti. <laughs> Some so seem jubilant. Happy... <laughs> some seem distressed. Some seem very angry that their frog god was just attacked. Uh, and I still have tongues on. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to use my action to cast uh, Thaumaturgy. Okay. On my voice. Okay. And I'm going to shout, and now I'm gonna eat all of you! <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna eat all of you! I can't believe, I can't believe Grom Grot, or whatever the fuck his name is, is Wario. <laughs> Grongolf, that's his name, Grongolf. Here I go! <laughs> Yee-haw! Look, guys, look, it's one of my greatest go achievements. Go ahead and roll a deception with disadvantage because its oh, mouth is not up. moving. It's psychic, like me. <laughs> it's <laughs> all it's all it's all it's You're making your voice louder. Oh, yeah! Oh, well, well, well. Four, I guess. Okay. I gotta <laughs> roll. I gotta roll for 12 frogs. Give me half a 12 second. 12 really no, disadvantage. Frogs. It's gonna be a 30. I'm just grad. I'm just grad. Oh, 24. no. 24. I can't believe I only got a 24 I'm, in my deception roll. I'm just glad that Gron Gulp doesn't sound like Boss Nass. Failure. Failure. They think of their brain so big. Failure. Man, Failure. this whole fucking thing Failure. is so goddamn bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, these failures shit. brought to you by Die Hard Dice. <laughs> Did you there, say right. Die Hard Dice? I they did. Fail. The unofficial they sponsor. Fail. All right. They believe that their god just spoke to them and said that I'm going to eat you. <laughs> okay. <Help. sighs> All right. Fantastic. Panic. Uh, what else would you like to do on your turn? Let's see. Uh, <sighs> let's take a look. Let's have a little look-see here. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, the all fuck right. Did we have to bring up Jar Jar's accent? It's in my fucking head now. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and reveal myself. Yeah! Uh, hey, the no I'm going, on the other side and of I'm going to use a use of my bardic inspiration to activate uh, mental nah, nah, of that's... inspiration. Hey, yeah. Every, everybody gets 11 temporary hit points. And they can use the reaction to move up to their speed. Uh, Monty, am I technically in combat with him? The yep, big frog? But, but yeah, the, but it uh, won't provoke. You can move anywhere. Off any attacks, the ability that Panic is using. So you're fine to move yeah. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? You can lie down. I mean, it's up to you. Gotta flip it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? You want to see me go, I'm absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh, he just starts head spinning in the he's, middle of the battlefield. I place Morky tap turnway. down in attack mode. <laughs> Quick, wrap me in the chain and zip me like a Beyblade. I dox <laughs> myself face down on oh. the field and end my It's Beyblade. Uh, Greckle, you, right hey, are you moving? No. I want to hold on to my reaction. I can't believe. Remy moves in. Big part? Jake are saying in the same. I'm just reading out for the podcast. Uh, uh, and the task has backed up further <laughs> away. <laughs> he flipped Smart. it turn ways. The Rangers that, running back? I would have never guessed. And with that, I'm going to run back over into the hut. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's smart. All right. It time is now jump too. Like he gets right through the window. Bullywug's turn. Oh, boy. I now have oh to my dictate God. Each bullywug is gonna do. So I'm gonna roll here a random effect because <laughs> they believe something now. Um, okay, this one's an idiot. This one raises up his arms and runs up and croaks, "Eat me!" <laughs> towards the front. Oh my myth. lord! Oh fun? no! These people are gonna die. They just—they're so ready. I didn't they realize it was that one. kind this of is, cult. This is natural selection yeah. at this point. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this, this is absolutely natural. Try to jump. This one's gonna jump over the wall and try to run away. <laughs> I tried to save them. I tried to save them with that. <laughs> uh, it's also gonna run and jumps over the wall. <laughs> this one here uh, is also an idiot and is going to make its full move. Uh... <laughs> Quit There's trying no. to eat me and eat me. Sorry. Eat me. Uh, this one is also gonna move towards the frog Hema. Uh, can it make it all the way? It sure can. It's gonna run up right next to you, Remy. This one here. Uh, this one has some self-survival skills. It's gonna hop over the wall. No. Nope. Self-preservation. Yeah, some of these don't want to die. What about their frog mounts? 
Uh, the frog mounts are animals that they don't really care about right now because there's way more important shit happening. I didn't yeah. know if they rode off with them or not. <laughs> this frog here. I'm gonna mark a skull on him. Uh, oh. is going in to try and kill Remy because he could make an even better sacrifice than he would. <sighs> oh man. He's gonna try and gimp the Genku. Uh, nine to hit you. <laughs> no, stop it. Don't jump. He just, he just he turns just... his head 180 degrees around looking down at him. <laughs> uh, he's gonna attempt to bite you. <laughs> what? With uh, what teeth? 14. Uh, he oh, just tries. No. Alright. Stop this! Are, are they, okay, are these- is this the big frog or are these like tiny frogs doing these this? These the little guys. These what? Little Get guys. out of here, guys! Come on! Stop what trying to die! What are you doing? Uh, another nine to stab you with their spear. They're just no! like- No! Shins. Attack uh, the bird. 21 for the bite. Sure. Okay. Oh, this is great. Can't believe Remy's gonna become a werefrog. Take two points of budgeting. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't fucking- <laughs> As you're bitten on the shoulder by a frog. Uh, uh, this frog here. Monty, I swear to God. Uh, Go ahead, why not? I'm, I got room right next to me. There's a diagonal square. This one's running away. I'm just trying to figure out which direction uh, it's going to. Yeah, this one's going to make it to the wall on this side. This one's running. These two have no idea what's going on. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna up and they're going to make their way and just see what's happening. Uh, and that will end the Bullywug's turn. Good. Uh, that's gonna bring us around to... Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh, God. Um... <laughs> boy, what yeah. to... Um, oh, you know what? I... <clears throat> I'm making so many gestures right now, because it's like... <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Um... You should, put, you should put them in a sequence and summon a bigger frog to fight turns, this frog. It, but it I'd turns... love to! It turns into the clone high hands at the tail end of the entire thing. <laughs> um, I can't, I, I can't make, I can't do what I was originally gonna do because I'd be in that guy's threat space. So, um, if uh, he's gonna, he's gonna lean back and just say, uh, Seika, attack the big one, don't get close. And then I, I have to, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw Todd at the one that's, uh, Parallel to me. The little bullywog that's stabbing, like just just bit Remy in the I shoulder. I can't. I can't do anything else. Like, all right, just all right. Todd, go for it. He. Okay. Uh, throw that at the big guy. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Right. Yeah, this guy's bigger. He towers above everybody. This thing is like probably 12, 15 feet tall. It's huge. That's fine, but I need I need pat. I need openings. I need to be able to Fair move. Enough. Fair enough. Uh, uh, so what? What is Todd? Oh, Todd! Todd is my Todd is one of my self-aware daggers that does nothing but argue with its company dagger, Nick. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> roll sneak attack as well. Um, here, here rolling dice. Dot dot dot. Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Dead. <laughs> Just dead. <laughs> 26, 26 points of damage. And I'm gonna cool. throw a dart at the big one. All right. So your held action goes off. Go ahead and roll the hit with dart. Fourteen. Just hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Oof. Enjoy your seven piercing Ooh, Max damage. Nice. Um, and then, Monty, I would like to uh, bonus action re-stealth. All right. That brings us uh, back. 14. 14's okay. There's a lot happening right now. It yeah. is pandemonium <laughs> right now. Why, why I believe it's, is, it, is it time for Borky? It is time for Borky. It is Borky's turn. <laughs> Borky Wait, cracks his follow. neck. Uh, Borky will be going into a regular rage. Regular rage, okay. You're also flanking. Swing with Ron Fault. All right, you pull a Ron Fault and you're to swing. 18. That hits. Oh, wait, I it pressed twice. Stop. Okay, eight. It, it still oh. hits. Yeah, it still hits. Eight plus three. 11. One second, let me just apply that. All right. Come on, you big it. bastard! Second swing is the 18, so go ahead and roll the damage on that. I'll allow it both, both of them. Guys, he's fat. Got <laughs> <laughs> Snyder 19. Yeah, I'll make him bleed. Let's no. roll damage. Nice. 14. 14 points of damage. Not bad. One second. Let me just calculate math here real fast. You also hit with the 18. It's 
true. Well, it's only two attacks because he uses bonus oh. action and rage. Yeah. It was a misclick before. All right, so one second, I just got to math real fast. It's going to be 14, so that's going to be... Yeah, boy. Uh, wow. Solid amount of damage. <laughs> All righty, Remy, it is now your turn with tasks to follow up. Sorry, say again? Remy, it is now your turn. Oh, my turn? To Great. I'm going to I'm gonna swing at the giant frog thing after I just watch the... So much. <laughs> yeah, now you know how, how where I was when my turn rolled yeah. around. So booming blade on the first strike. On the big guy. 16. All right. Yeah, that hits 18. Cool. Your so that's going to be 11 plus uh, seven. So 18 total. 18 total. Very nice. And you then guys the are bonus action. Playing into this there. thing. Hell yeah! I mean, to eat people, like I'm not a jerk. Uh, <laughs> that's a natural one. Wow. Oh. Natural severity. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Um. <laughs> as you're as you're like going to swing as you as you kind of bring back your sword, mm -hmm. uh, the bullywug behind you like grabs onto your like arm where you're holding your sword and will not let go of you, hindering your attacks. You will have disadvantage unless you use your action to remove the frog. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I rolled high severity, so he That's is currently fine. That's, you that is and fair. hindering your assault. All right. He's trying to defend his god. All right. I see what you're doing, Panic. Task, it is now your turn. Mind me. So these frogs act as mount, yes? Uh, yes, they technically do for bullywugs because bullywugs can talk to them. Handle animal. Sure. Ride that frog in a battle. I'm. I'm Dude. Oh, oh no! no! Double oh, that one. Wow. Are you kidding me? You have, the one time have, I decide to be cool. You have the aspect of the Aos, though, if you want to reroll. Do it. Yes, I yes. do. I want to. Do it. Okay. Come on! I, I do not want to double that one. Double that double That's acrobatic. That's acrobatic. That's, acrobatic. Oh, That's, acrobatic. Oh. That's fine. It's still, It's plus two, so 18 plus two is soft 20. Oh. Next! There we go. There go. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Oh, natural 20! Let's go, Zito! This is what happens. Task, you walk up to this frog and you nod to it, and the frog just looks up at you and nods back, and you get on its back without any <laughs> <laughs> All right. You are now mounted, so you have the movement speed of the, fr of the, of the giant frog. Um, I don't know if you have stats for that, if you could find it, because it's right in the I can, I can, I got you. Yeah, so you, you, have, you have the movement of a frog. When we walked into this village, that was a goddamn roller coaster. When we walked into this village, I didn't know what to expect, but I can tell you definitively that it wasn't this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Standing leap. Task is now the Black Ranger from the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Oh hell yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh Johnny on Bosch? Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah. Oh, dude, you know what that means? You have a band. Oh fuck! <laughs> All right. right. Unfortunately, Task, that's gonna probably take your action to do that. To, to can I? Can I at least frog. move? Yes, you may. With the frog, absolutely. Cool. Uh, frog has a long jump that goes up to 20 feet high and up to 10 feet. Can I jump on top of the edge of the wall? Uh, yeah, sure. Which direction do you want to go? Right here. Sure, Whoop. absolutely. I, I need control of the frog. Whoop. Yeah, you got the frog there. Thank you. I now have tactical positioning, boys. <laughs> yep, you're up on the wall. You have the high ground. I now All have right. the high ground, and that's turn. Seika, it's now your turn. Cool. Uh, so he told me not to get close, but he didn't say I can't move. So is there space to get behind the hut between the wall? No, that's occupied, unfortunately. Great. You got you got room. You got room to move around. I know. I was just trying to figure out the best way to do it. So uh, I'm move here. this very large creature, by the way, is not hindered by enemies being in front of it or allies being in front of it because it is very big and is very easy to hit. And I need to do... <laughs> a measurement really quickly. First of all, let me double check this. I believe it's 15. Yeah, 15 feet. How do you measure cones, Monty? Cones? <laughs> uh, how wide of a cone is it? It's 15 feet. All right, so it's 15 feet. So it would be boom, 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 boom. Right there. Okay, so you measure every square that's 15 feet away from Yeah, the point? so we would occupy uh, these squares here. Uh, so that would hit Remy? Uh, unfortunately, yes, it would hit Remy. 
All right. Do it anyway. So you don't know I me. So move up one more square, does that miss him? It sure does. Cool. Uh, so uh, Seika's gonna move up here by the side of the pond uh, and he's going to uh, say, Tenka! And I'm going to uh, use Burning Hands. Okay. There's a saving throw in that, isn't there? Uh, mm. No. There yeah, there is. It's, it's yeah, a, there it's should a be. It should, there should be a save for half. Oh, sorry. Yes, dexterity. Dexterity. Oh, great. I was like, I have this. I know this. Hey! Ooh. 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 Max damage almost. Jeez. Unfortunately, it rolled a natural 18 plus 119. So, unfortunately... Damn. It, Definitely it's still eight damage. my spell save, DC. So, it takes eight damage. It takes eight damage. Yep. It, the fire doesn't seem to affect it that well. Cool. Hmm. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. That is, however, my turn. Okay. It is now the creature's turn. It has three frogs currently begging to be eaten. Uh, an orc and a kenku within its attack range. Let's go, bitch. So I'm going to randomly roll to see who it's going to target. There's five targets, so I'll run a double with <laughs> I tried so hard. And the winner is... Uh, this frog gets eaten. Just gone. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, God. Uh, no, Binya, Binya. For a second attack. At last, I am finally won! <laughs> <laughs> uh, for its second attack... Actually, I rolled the wrong dice. I need to roll. Where's my D8? There's my D8. <clears throat> Uh, it's gonna tentacle this one. This poor little frog. He's going for the little guys. Oh no, no poor froges. Uh, that's gonna be a plus 10 to hit. Uh, yeah, I, I think a 29 is gonna hit this little frog. <laughs> I go willingly! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I asked for these. In a couple Four. of hours, the sun will rise. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Not for him, it won't. 15. As oh, the stop frog him. is holding up his hands to be received by his god, he is crushed instantly by the giant tentacle oh. of the frog. He didn't even go no the way he wanted. <laughs> no. This thing doesn't care. Poor guy. Uh, I will remember you, Frog 3B. You guys are so lucky. It attacked all three of the blue ones on its turn. Hey, it's a bot turn. Uh, that's absolutely going to hit the blue one. Panic is, Panic is looking on in horror as his plan to get them all away has gone awfully awry. <laughs> yep. Don't jump in this hole. What you're saying is we should jump in the hole. Damn it. Uh, no. It gets smashed and killed instantly as well. As this thing <laughs> roars in anger and frustration. Marcy. Uh huh. Is there any chance I could use my reaction to push him out of the way and take the attack? The, unless you have an ability that does so, unfortunately. Uh, no. All right. You're trying to pull an os, but you have to be a specific class to pull an os. Okay, that's, okay, that's fine. That's fair. Yeah. All right. That ends the Froghemus turn. I randomly rolled for his targets, and he didn't target you guys, so there you go. Damn it. I wanted uh, him to. <laughs> I'm right. I know, Bosco. I know. Panic, it so is now... desperate to be eaten. Panic, it is now your turn. Okay. I don't want well, these things to die. Now that we're leaving. Now that the other frogs are, are are all gone, I guess this is less effective. Uh, but Panic is going to look at that big bonfire right there in the middle of town. Uh huh. He's gonna scratch his pointy chin. He's gonna be like, hmm. And then he'll speak something in Infernal and play his guitar. And I'm going to cast Panic's Pyrotechnics. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, as as a huge flash of light engulfs the bonfire and into the sky pops. And an explosion in the shape of some dude throwing up the horns with his hands. Uh <laughs> Some dude, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, it's 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 like it's like you know you throw up the horns. You're the, with the hand. It's that's it's panic. The, that's totally what, panic. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the fire here. Uh, and the frog hemoth, and also this frog, and also uh, 
Yeah, yeah just the frog hemoth and that frog need to make yeah. constitution Remy. saving throws. Oh, Remy. Remy's, I think, within range. Yeah. Nope. He's within My 10 God. feet. Hmm? Right here. Yeah, but I'm... I'm, I'm it's from a single right five-foot square. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so you would miss the lower bullywog if you're aiming. Try to avoid Remy. That's, yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm trying to I'm trying to get the frog hemoth. All right. So what did that have to roll? What kind of saving throw? Con save. Could you give me the constitution bonus, uh, Zito, for the frog? Oh, sure. Uh, the con bonus is a flat zero. Flat zero. All right. Well, the frog hemoth uh, got a... I got to calculate this here. Uh, the frog hemoth... Oh, God. How do I do this? I can't math. My brain just stopped working. Is it oh. higher than 17? 25. Constantly. Yeah. Ugh. He's fine. Uh, the regular frog rolled a 15 flat. He fails. Okay. That frog is now blind. Okay. <laughs> this poor little frog is now blind. You can't see. Uh, it does the little Pac-Man frog scream. <laughs> ah. It's Shit. like the uh, it's like the uh, Smash Brothers thing where they're getting hit by the laser beams, except for it's just a frog. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> like a high quality, a like a high quality JPEG just being destroyed by the. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Hit it with a. And, okay. Uh, with my bonus action, I'm going to just give Remy a little bardic inspiration. Okay. That's a D10 now. Yep. Okay. It is now for my friend. It is now the bullywug's turn. There we go. Uh this bullywug who's holding on to Remy still is going to bite Remy. Attempt to anyway. Uh that is going to be a 12. No. And then it's going to stab you with a spear. Sure. Uh 15. No. <laughs> <laughs> He just slaps him across the face like, stop, dude. <laughs> all right, the rest of these frogs, these little bullywugs, are going to use all their movement to dash away and get out of combat range. They're they're running. Oh, so they're, they're going. I'm getting out of here. Oh. I have to roll for these two. Better to flee than leave another day. <laughs> I was raised by a cup of coffee. This guy is going to cut the wall. And this guy's going to climb the wall. They don't want to be part of this. Um, and now for the noble frogs, who are now active in this situation. Uh, roll, just, a uh... D4, roll a d4 for me, Panic, real real fast. Mm -hmm. the frog. Here I go. <laughs> Do you ever just climb a ladder and see the god you worship? Three. Your hometown? One, two, three. Okay, so this guy is going to go 30 feet. He's going to splat into the wall because he can't see. <laughs> oh! This one's hopping over and is gonna go. This one's hopping away and is gonna go. This one is hopping over and is gonna go. And this one's hopping over and is gonna go. They are scattering. Everything is scattering right now. Hey. Uh, that ends the Bullywug and the Frog's turn. Greckles, it is now your turn. Oh boy. Um, Come on, Grax. I could still make an offhand attack, right? Yeah, with your bonus action. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use regular movement. I got 40 to work with. Oh, that's more than enough. Uh, so let's see here. I'm gonna run in, get parallel with Borky. Uh, while I'm running, I will use my action to activate the magical dagger of venom given by the vampire countess. Okay. Oh, wow, all right. Yeah. And uh, using my offhand attack, cause I don't care about damage, I care more about poisoning this thing. Um, I'm gonna make the, uh, make a stab attempt. Okay. <sighs> Oh, baby. Uh, I saw that net net one. That was so I know, I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. Seventeen. Okay, so few. So that's, eight. That's not gonna be eight. That's gonna be three because it's oh, your. Three. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Three. Uh, three. Sneak. Okay. So three plus. Uh, okay, so that's oh, twenty-five. <laughs> Damn. Well, no, it's fine, Mister. I don't that's care about damage. damage. Um. Yeah. Eh. Okay. Oh, saving throw. DC fifteen. This thing is a health monster. Yeah, but you know, you and never know. Yet, and yet, uh, 16. Oh, uh, 16 dude. beats it. Oh, beans. Yeah. Nine plus That's, Hey, good try though. That was good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause dude, dude, 
Dis disadvantage on like attacks and stuff. Oh, solid. Okay, so incredibly 15. Incredibly good, yeah. 15, so 20. The this thing is, it, it may not be the brightest, but it's a tanky, tanky. Yeah. Thing. No, that was that was the risk, but it was mitigated, so it's fine. All right, uh, dude, but still, 25 points of damage. That's turn. All right, that brings us around now to Borky with tasks to follow. Borky, it is now your turn. You see these two little frogs just uh, smashed into the ground into paste. Oh. Uh, I mean, to each their own, so for me, more! Come out, I'm gonna cut up with your gut like a goddamn fish, I am! Damn all, you fat bastard of 14. Just hits. Just, jeez. 13 plus three. 16. One second, let me just math real fast. Uh, it'd be easier if I just, yeah, do that and then. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, just trying to figure out math in a convoluted way because I'm not very math inclined. All right, you slash into the side. It's kind of blubbery, like, skin kind of spews out blood out of the side. So far, you're the worst god we've met yet. <laughs> and that is a 17. That also hits. Go and roll damage. 11 plus 3, 14. 14, all right. All right, you slash into it a second time into its fatty blubber and it kind of, kind of moans as it's kind of swinging around its tentacles and kind of wiping them off on the grass to like get the gross kind of organy goo off of its tentacles. Okay, that ends my turn. Remy, it is now your turn. You still have a frog on you. I'm gonna use my action to get it off me. Okay, uh, roll a competing athletics check for me. Nine. Uh, six, you win. You just like, you like, you hey, kind of like, you take your leg and you kind of scrape the frog off your sword. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Just like, it and off. then I'd oh. like to action surge. Okay. And I'm going to hit the thing in front of me with a booming blade. Okay. All right. 26. That hits. Thank you. That's going to be 10 plus uh, two, so 12. Second swing, 11. Fortunately misses. Even the Shoot. As All you right. go to, so you swing it down the first time and your, your blade erupts in this raucous boom and you swing around and the tentacle whips around and you just have to like parry the tentacle before it hits you and forego your attack, unfortunately. Okay, sounds good. All righty, that brings us around to task. It is now your turn. You are up on your frog and you have the high ground. You guys watch as an upside down arrow appears on its forehead. Hunter Spark. Okay. Shoo. Boop. 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 Ah, my HUD is active. <laughs> I watch as that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Guns cocked and loaded. Let's fire. Let me, uh, hold on. I'm just doing my spell check down. So on. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. Short bow. 17 to hit. That hits. All right, so first off, 10 on piercing, yep. hunting a hunter's bark. I mean, not hunter's bark, uh, Colossus Slayer. Four, yep. and then hunter's bark. Five. Okay. So 19. Solid hit. And now we go into the second shot. 15. Hits. All right, that, and then hunter's bark. Ugh, eight. Eight. All right, well, you got a solid first shot. It's serviceable, shot. serviceable. Serviceable, you hit it quite solidly, almost knocking it off its own feet, which is in pretty impressive for such a large creature. And I will re I will remain perched up here with my new steed. All right, Seika, it's now your turn. This creature's looking very beat up. It's got slash marks in it. It's got, like, dagger marks. It's got tons of arrows riddled in it. It's covered in blood and goop. The gloves are off, but I can't get close. So he's gonna hold a palm out in front of him and say, Taika, as his hand erupts in flame, and I will use Radiant Sunbolt. Okay. Hey Does a 15 hit? That hits, go ahead and roll damage. Woo! Eight damage, potentially. That is exactly what you need to kill it. How do you want to kill it? Oh, yeah! yeah! Nice! nice, dude. I got one. Okay, uh, so as he uh, punches forward to send forward this gout of flame, uh, it travels up along the back of the frog he missed and 
reaches up to its eyes as they begin to boil inside where they're being held. Uh, the stalks, I guess. It, like, stumbles forward. Bork, you manage to dive out of the way as this colossal form boom, 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 lands on the ground with a heavy thud. Oh, that'll stop him. Oh, man. And whew. Tess looks at the last bullywog holding his arrow up. What do we do with this one? Let it go. They all are running. All of them just run the moment, like, you guys have killed their god. They're all fleeing. Everyone's jumping ship. You let this one go? I let it go. Yeah, he runs. <laughs> well, I think mission that's accomplished. That. Hey, pretty successful, if I do say so hey, myself. No, high five, Panic. That was goddamn brilliant, it was. That was uh, pretty solid. It's I'm just another it. day in the life, boys. Just another day in the life. I've done my best to make sure the creature is in one piece. Hopefully, we should be able to... <laughs> I won't. Ones. I hold up my knife. <laughs> I just want a second. You gotta, like... Like, uh, wrap, the ch wrap those same chains around him. That's how we get to slice and dice so, the animals. So, so we, can we carefully dissect this thing so, together? <laughs> yeah, I, for the sake of ease, you guys make a camp for the night and you take plenty of time to surgically remove the lungs out of this creature. Yep. The lungs are huge. And there's also mm. not like human lungs, or there's like two lungs. There's actually four sets inside of this like Jesus. Oh, cheap that. Lung. This like, man could breathe it, forever. It's huge. It's it's bigger than two Borkies, like, put wow. together. It's They're the cool. Space Marine of frogs. <laughs> mm. frog it really guys. is, actually. Yeah. This this is capping your capacity for the, the, the hole, by the way. Like, this is like... Man, my hole is full. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> shall we... Shall, <laughs> what? Shall we cook <laughs> up and eat the rest of it? So since we actually have the what we came here for, yeah. can I now carve this thing for extra? Absolutely go for it. Oh, this that's right, the Barting tentacles. Yeah. Barring inspiration, all right. Oof. Oh, yeah, roll the inspiration though, just to see. 24, so what do I roll, 1d what? Uh, it's a 1d10, 1d10 now. Oh, it's 1d10? Fuck, yeah. all right, here we go. Panic, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> 25. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was like eh. oh. <laughs> 25 though. You get you get uh hold on hold on, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. Huh? Get it right, get it right down, get it right down. Okay, okay. You get all four tentacles with a twenty-five. Fuck yeah. You get the eye stock, albeit slightly sizzled. Sorry. Um, let me just take a look here at the monster's physiology. The skin is toast, like it's unusable. Um, you also it's get, edible. I mean, anything's edible if you try hard enough to eat it. Hey, I, you know what I plan to do though? My new mount is going to eat its previous God and become stronger. <laughs> um, so you have the eye stock, burnt eye stock. Make sure to put it in presence. Burnt. Burnt. Okay. Burnt. Uh, you have the frog human tongue. Ooh. Dude, fuck yeah. That's a new rope. That's a new fucking whip, my dudes. And 42 frog he te uh, teeth, because you're really high survival check. That's a lot of arrowheads, buddy. Ooh. Tass just like emerges from the center of the fucking thing's body. <laughs> <laughs> God, I can't see you, it. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if you were happier when, you know, Darkest died or now. It's kind of like... <laughs> you know, holding his hands way up and down. It's, it's, it's actually... It's a little creepy, actually. Uh, do you, need to, you, take, do you need to crawl in there every time? You're tall enough. It's, there's enough space yeah. to walk in. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? It's, it's one of the few things he genuinely enjoys. Just let them have it. Yeah, okay. You go back. Hand a man hunt in peace. It's just that spitting blood. <laughs> yeah. as, I, as I feed a piece of this thing's heart to my frog. Uh, I'll handle animal check for this frog. It's not too keen to stick around. It's fine. I want to No, I, I grab it by its throat and I look at it. <laughs> You're staying. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. 19. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> wow. Angie's and just, and going to have a new friend. Hey, Take why not? Yeah. Ask is a master tamer, apparently. Rangers, man. The beast master. <laughs> 
They're so you guys settle down here. for the night and prepare some uh, pan-fried, sizzled frogamus skin for for dinner. It's actually pretty good. Frog nuggets. Okay, takes, so it's on a, a bit scale like of a, one to alligator, how good is it? It's like eating like a fish cake, like a flat. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. about to say, like, isn't frog kind of like crab in a way? It's um, frog is very meaty. It's it's, it's like chicken almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like yeah. crawfish, crab. Oh wait, right, frog. It's frog you're eating the skin, though. The meat is, it's the stomach burst. I'm just gonna put that out there. The stomach did not survive this situation. Oh, great. <laughs> um, half digested. Which is great. <laughs> oh, I don't want what, uh, okay, serious fucking there. question. Serious question. Was he hanging on to anything shiny? No. But next to his throne was a uh, a obsidian statue, similar to Gripple's, but not as impressive of what appears to be a depiction of this god. Yeah, uh, not magical the, either? No, it's not magical. It has monetary value, probably. Mm. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. And, um, and the god uh, what, itself you... is a decorative wooden gong. It could probably sell for something as well, historically, anyway. Um, money, do uh, it, within the huts and everything? Do they have any? Prov I know they probably don't have anything like weapon, good weapon wise, but do they have any provisions? They have spears. Um, they generally just have spears. Um, in terms of food, dried insects, which mm. you know, if that's your what birds. Hey, uh, hey, money. Mm -hmm. Uh, so. Can I check the pond that the frog hemoth came out of? Sure, if you want to swim in there. Yeah, fuck it. Why okay. not? Uh, uh, survival or what? This will be athletics because you're swimming deep underwater. Alrighty. Clam. Twelve. Okay. You swim inside, uh, and through your swimming, you discover that the channel is actually attached to the lake on the outside. But it looks very clear that this creature was sleeping at the bottom of this pool. It doesn't move too much, but it appears to have a way to leave if it needs to. Um, but it's very, very deep underwater. So all right, uh, no other like no other objects apart from just like where uh, it just was like resting. There's poop and <laughs> like. <laughs> There's no incredible so eggs, one. Unfortunately, there. a frog month egg would probably be worth a ton, but there's no eggs around oh, here either. Oh, yeah. beans. Oh, well. All right, well. So, uh, Seika, how's, uh, how's your first day? <laughs> I... Kuriyama-san, excuse, excuse me, forgot the vernacular. <laughs> uh, he, his... The smile broadens a little bit, but not quite to full, you know, ridiculous level. I will have many tales to tell, that is for sure. Well. I was not certain what to expect in our encounter with this tribe. I don't believe that complete eradication was on my mind at the time. I don't think it was on anyone's mind, to be honest, but I mean, it's not like we came in and slaughtered everyone. No, just... To be honest, it seems like those guys really badly wanted to die. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I feel like we just gave him, like, the perfect excuse. And the rest of them that had a brain decide to leave, so, right. you know, it's the best we could have done. Right. I have never seen an interaction between, well, two meeting parties turn quite so violent so quickly. Are you saying that there aren't any wars or battles in the Elemental Plane of Fire? Not at all, but they usually carry a bit more... And he kind of just looks around at the village, lying in dismay really with, nice like, flat marks on the ground. Apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A bit more decorum. Mm. Oh, you're in the wet sometimes, work, my friend. <laughs> sometimes the situation uh, requires the touch of a little bit of chaos. Well, it is not my place to question it. I am unfamiliar with your customs. If this is the way these go, I shall keep it in mind for the future. Oh, trust us. Trust us. This normally isn't the way it goes. It's just this is the life of an adventurer. Only when we want it to. Kuri One Oops, more sorry. thing you guys found in your oh. investigation of the village. Uh, the halfling oh. bones, there is an amulet, like a locket. Oh. oh. We should bring this back. Yeah. yeah it might be, a, might be a family members. Not Halfling magical. Amulet. No, it, it is a keepsake. Um, there's a picture inside that appeared to contain uh, what looks to be a wedding photo of you're not sure which halfling um, and it's a, a male and female halfling looks like in wedding attire and then another one with them in 
wedding attire again. Oh, oh that's tragic. That, that blows. Well, we're going to have to hand this over to the guard when we get back. We don't know if they're from Alabast. Mm. Look, look, Greckles looks back over to Seika. Kuriyama-san, you understand the concept of Shogunai, that something can't be helped, right? Certainly. That is, this, this was sort of an amalgamation of that. Though, maybe not in the way that you could understand. In the concept of Shogunai, it is you must endure, you must bear with what you are handed. And in a way, that's exactly what we did. But we did it to succeed our goal. It's not a matter of it can't be helped with what usually is done, but what must be done. And it's not as easy as we make it look. We've had to make some hard decisions in the past. But that is our interpretation of it. I tried to solve things diplomatically, but the moment the sacrifice was brought up, anything goes, really. That, that, that right there, that panic is the big Shogunai moment. Shogunai, yes. indeed, and he holds up like a canteen. He shrinks from it. <laughs> As stated, uh, it is not my place to question, merely observe. And he kind of nods deferentially to uh, Greckles. Well, the reason I say this, Kuriyama-san, is that it would be good for you to know my state of affairs, my companion's state of affairs, should we run back into my father, who I'm sure will have many questions for me and I for him. But perhaps from your first-hand accounts, you might be able to explain things a little better than any of us could. What he's saying is, don't be afraid to look outside the box. Think if outside no the box. If nothing else, for diplomatic reasons. Are you suggesting that I speak for you, Penka? Not necessarily, but... What I am asking is to observe very closely. This has been my life for as long as I can remember it. You, you, you told me before to try and talk to this frog clan as if I was some sort of heir to the, the, the Alkalites of the Phoenix. That may be true, but it's something that is still completely foreign to me. For you to understand me better and to... He, he kind of kind of looks at you with a little bit of a wink. Protect me better. It is most important that you understand what not only my life, but the lives of my indisposed compatriots live. I see. Shall I refrain then from pointing out options to you if they do not align with your lived experience? Kuriyama-san, <laughs> he just kind of laughs and just, just kind of shakes his head a little bit. I value all counsel that you provide. Very well. I shall take that under consideration. And he not you can tell he's 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 smiling the smile that has come to mean I'm thinking things through very deeply right now. Sure. Greckles will mm. just kind of Greckles will try will, will give that that little bit of a Tatama smile back, and then as he just kind of looks away to everyone else, you just see this sort of "God help me" look. <laughs> <laughs> Remy's gonna give a little bit of a chuckle, but then if the doors are open, he's gonna go sit on the beach for a little while until people are ready to go. Okay, you guys aren't camping here. You guys are gonna head back out into the swamp. Oh, I thought we already camped. Oh, no, we're no, we're camping. We're, oh, we're, we're camping here. We're not going through that swamp at night. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, got our, we've got our own little village with five foot high walls and and huts and actual like. Oh, we got buildings. our own houses. Yeah, we got our own little houses. All right, so bro. Guys, we, 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 well, this is, it feels it, weird now. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Poconos, boys. Right, this okay, is our beach so run off party. <laughs> uh, you, you guys gonna set up a bar here too? Should you think, guys? Think we should set up like. Like, we should grab all the food and put it in a pile outside so, like, if the frog people, you know, like, are hungry, they'll, you, they'll be like... Let's just, let's leave the food where it is. I think if we're, we're not hungry, here we to loot against people. people. Eh, I mean, <laughs> looks, at the, looks at the now toothless and gutsless god. Oh, it's like a pile of carnage now. There's nothing <laughs> looks at, left that's disposable. Looks at the obsidian statue that I have in my hands. <laughs> We're not here to loot these people as I hug my frog around the neck. 
<laughs> you guys have taken everything from the, from the village. We're not here to loot. No, we're, no listen, we're, we're not here to take much. I'm just waiting for us to pack up the whole island, like just fold it in half. <laughs> the whole just island in here. Hole. It's fine. <laughs> All right, you guys rest for the night. Keeping watches where necessary, but the night is completely unavailable. You guys are in probably the most secure location in this entire swamp. Uh, as dawn breaks, you guys make your way in your folding boat with your items in tow, which, by the way, uh, y'all are carrying the tentacles because those will not fit in the hole. The lungs mm -hmm. are occupying the hole. Okay. Not Got a it. not a sentence I would think I would ever have to say. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> and dragons, Monty. That is the, correct. The lungs vernacular. are occupying the hole. Um, the hole. Mm. You guys make your way through the swamp. Who wants to spearhead your venture back to try and refine your I piece guess. of burden? Should I be? Should that be me? Since I have yeah. the highest perception. Mm. Yeah. You're a ranger. Yeah. I would hope so. <laughs> it depends on if it's tight face or not. Because I think Can we're tied up range? perception. <laughs> can you range for us, please? Yes, I can. What do you need yeah, me to roll, roll buddy? Or you don't sit and stand on that. Oh, thank God you're here. Can I get a plus ten with my spyglass or no? Um, no, just a straight roll. Perception. Okay. Yeah. I, I meant advantage. I just, I just did some fucking like three point well, five numbers there. Uh, you're able to retrace your steps. Um, luckily, it has not rained, so your actual like footsteps haven't actually been sucked into the water that much. Especially Borky's, it's very easy to find, and also <laughs> Seika's because it's like burnt where he has been. <laughs> um, and with that in mind, you're able to retrace the steps. But as you guys are traveling, task your ears kind of perk up as you begin to hear. <laughs> Like a bunch of croaking in, uh, in synchronized sort of chanting. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh, let's y'all hear, hear that croaking. Let's stealth on our Can way we over there. Y'all hear that croaking? Uh, um, as you guys get closer, maybe yeah. just you. All right, I will cast tongues again. Okay. Uh, oh wait, no, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, I'm completely wrong. Pass without a trace. Get in there. All right, there everybody. Roll stealth checks with plus ten. Oh, jeez. 29. 29. 18. Uh, 18. That's going to be a 15. Oh, my God. Uh, 23. And so... And so the trend continues. <laughs> no! <laughs> my dice today. Oh, I didn't roll stealth, that's, actually. Yeah, that's a good stealth. thing. Roll stealth, Ricky. 19! 29! 29, 29, 29, you mean. Nice. Yeah, stealthy AF, yo. You guys sell forward, and you see all of the bullywugs who escaped the village, currently standing in a circle around Tarisk, who is wearing a new crown. Tarisk is wearing a God green damn it. crown. Oh, uh, my God. And they're all, like, they're building a throne right now out of mud and rock and, like, oh. wood. Uh, and all croaking to each other uh, and appear to be worshipping Tarisk as their new god. I, I, I just walked Wait, out. Wait, where is Bolo go... in the fro the, the, the toad, the mounts? The lizard hands, you don't see them nearby. I better follow him before this gets ugly. No, I just I just walk on in there and I just look at Tarisk. Okay, you walk in. <laughs> Immediately, all the bullywugs see all of you and one of them croaks out, what? scatter! And they all just run away. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. And Tarisk is like, oh. He watches his wings Aww. down. He looks kind of sad. Oh, I, I pet him. I pet him on the head, and I give him like a nice big chunk of meat to eat. And thus all. Oh, hug him, my, this boy. <laughs> I think I can let you keep the crown, though. <laughs> it does look pretty good on him. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, he's keeping the crown. He earned that one. <laughs> hang on, hang on. I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn it sideways. There we go. Perfect. We left them all together, didn't we? Gonna slightly, slightly tilted. On his well, head. I look to Tarisk and I ask him in Draconic, "Where is the? Where are all the mounts?" He kind of shrugs. What fucking? Oh, we have a whistle. Vin whistle you... for him. Vin all right, well, whistle. All right, whistle. Yeah. Uh, Remy, you whistle for Volo, and uh, yes. easily enough, Volo appears. They probably oh, wandered off God. somewhere. Okay. Then I'd like to get on Volo and and backtrack where he came from. Okay. Because we need uh, mounts. As you guys call your mounts, they all return, with the exception of oh, Green, 
who returns oh. maybe two minutes later um, with a giant catfish in her mouth. Oh. <laughs> kind of like like you know when a when a bulldog like walks up with like a big toy and it looks super proud of themselves. Oh, green they trot. Yeah, 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 doing the trot. Yeah, and the mud that's green. By the way, your lizard hounds are disgustingly muddy, like from <laughs> from face all the way to the back end. Like they are covered in mud. Are they happy oh, though? Oh, they're happy. They're so. Oh, happy. then who cares? They're yeah. happy. Um, Volo is also quite dirty. Um, the mud is definitely clinging to the feathers, and uh, you kind of have to like help clean them off with pressed digitation. Press yep. Really take off. Yeah. Wait. Um, wait. What about guys... Keen, what about Keen Ushi? That's what I was gonna ask. Did <laughs> he just Ushi? sink into the swamp? <laughs> yeah. Keen Ushi is like about two feet deeper in the swamp. <laughs> <where he left laughs> <God>. <laughs> Uh, Seiko will actually Jesus. approach him and <laughs> sort of like taking a note from everyone else. He'll sort of gently pat Kanushi on the side of the face. He's very awkward about it. He has no idea what he's doing, but everyone else does it, so it seems like it's the right thing to do. He has is, no is idea. Like, is Kanushi's shadow, like, dry mud underneath him? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> does he need assistance getting out of the mud, or is he fine? Uh, the moment you mount him, he, like, manages to, like, almost like a beast of burden, pull himself from the mud. Okay. Um, you guys all remount. Uh, Green refuses to let go of that catfish, by the way. It's like a squeaky toy. It's hers, Borky. No one can have it, not even you. Yo, yo, drop. Drop, drop, drop. drop. I'm going inside. I'm going to leave you out here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got a little He's bit too real. He's actually just Gregor. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's just that. that it kind of got into the real world there for a second, guys. Might be. <laughs> All right, you guys uh, mount up. Um, you load Green, up. Got anything you want to say? Aww. <laughs> Aww. Uh, <laughs> you guys mount up and you make your way back to Alabas. Hell yeah. Clippity cloppity, we got the long based property. We're in Alabas. We're in Alabas. So, for the uh, sake of brevity, we're going to just jump back over to your tavern if you guys are okay with that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, in, 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 in between all that, Greckles would probably just ask the very basic question to Seika. So, how are we supposed to make these things with the lungs? I'm afraid I do not know. I believe <sighs> your friend is going to help us figure that out. Oh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we cut to Iggy's... Uh, inventor space as you dump the lungs on his work table. <laughs> Got you a present, Iggy. You watch as both of the eyes just kind of flick into place and like look. Um, oh, no. Has Seika met Iggy? I don't think Seika's nope. met Iggy. Nope. I'll no. show Seika Iggy. Not at all. Let me play Mr. Iggy. I'm gonna Take show a there. look at this. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. You see a chameleon uh, lizard folk. Uh, currently completely, like, workman vest, goggles, looking over the lungs, poking them gently. You watch as Iggy kind of looks them over and goes, so you're saying you need something to breathe underwater, underwater where it's not oxygen -y? Where most of the entire realm is nothing but water. Okay, interesting. Very fascinating. It will take me some time, uh, specifically in terms of this. I must remain to make the... He kind of pokes at the pink flesh. This must remain moist uh, for the maximum efficiency, because if it dries out, it would be completely useless underwater. Uh, it, um, fluffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I could probably use a couple barrels of your water, if you would not mind. I need to store some things. He watches, he just grabs and starts, like, cutting up the lungs, like, just taking them apart so they'll fit into barrels, essentially. Uh, Taz puts down the objects that, like, would probably need, like, you know, storage like that as well. He, like, shows the, the fucking tongue and the... Hold on, what is it? Yep, the tongue and the eye stock and the tentacles. You will have you to make... You will have to make me a list after the session, so that way I can write it down for Iggy and I can figure out what he can make with it. Time cool. out, time out, time out real quick. Do it, just just so we're all aware. Do you want Iggy to do something with the tentacles or do you want to sell them back to the monster guy? That's the other option. Yeah. Oh, that's mm. right. Fuck. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, we're, we're keeping the tentacles then so I can sell them back. The tongue, however, I put my whip down with it. 
I, I, I want to ask this I question because I did not write it down because it didn't concern my character. But I believe Willow requested something being brought back as well. I think it was she the wanted, eyes, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Eyes, yeah. You want oh, the eyes. Well, okay. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Which I think we have eyes. We, we oh, have burnt eye burnt. stocks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Hello to the crispy. Above game, don't forget. All right, well, well, here we go. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm just going to be like, all right, well, here, you can have the tongue, and I put down my whip. Go crazy. My roper whip. Uh -huh. You will regret saying that, but I will make this the priority. He points down at the lungs. This is going to take me some time, probably about a week or so. A whole week? Oh, God, what are we going to do in a whole week? Well, there's a festival uh, coming up. You watch as he, like, carries over one of the lungs and just psh, puts it in a giant barrel of water. We, we also we also need to get that, uh, what was that, that salamander skin? What was that? The ice, uh, ice salamander skin. Uh, the frost the frost salamander skins, that's right. So we could start that process, or we could, you know, unwind a little bit. I could show, I could show Seika here around and uh, enjoy the festival. Well, nice. I'm going to go make these deliveries then as I go up to Willow to give her a present. Okay. I'm going to go find out if the purchase of my tower has happened. Okay. So, as you guys kind of break away from Iggy as Iggy's loading in all the lungs into various jars, Fluffy walks and goes, I'm going to need more barrels. <laughs> kind of walks away. <laughs> uh, take your way out. Task you, deliver. You go to Willow's potion shop. Um, to which Willow is ecstatic about the eyeballs, and they are charred, but she jokes, and it's just like, you just saved me a little bit of extra time in processing these. Thank you so much, Task. Oh, no problem. I'm sorry it couldn't be in perfect condition like you asked for. I mean, I'm going to boil them down anyway, so it's not a big deal. This is going to make for some really, really good base healing potions for you guys. Well, I'm glad to assist. Thank you. Also, I got started on those potions with the drow blood. Um, it'll take probably, I'm going to say three to four days for it to distill properly, and then I could probably get you a finished product soon. Uh, one for each of you. Sounds fantastic. Thank you for so much for your time and effort. Of course, of course. Anyway, I should close up the shop. It's getting kind of late. All right. And with that, I'm going to run off to... Uh... To ire and dragging self. three giant tentacles yeah, behind four, them. four, no, four, yeah, four, four of them, yeah. So two hundred gold per tentacle. Ooh. Yay! I have money. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I have cash. <laughs> so that's for if you want to sell all four of them. Uh, yeah, two hundred gold. So. Uh, was there a purpose to holding on to one for myself? If you want to, it's up to you. You can give it to Iggy and see what he can make of it. Uh, you know what? Fine, fuck it. I'm gonna subtract. I'm gonna subtract one from giving it away, so I'm only gonna take six hundred instead. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna give the tentacle along with the uh, roper. Oh wait, actually, how much? What What would happen if I sold the teeth? The teeth. You can sell the teeth. Yeah, I'd like to sell the teeth then. How many did you have? You had 30, 42. 42. Uh, the teeth aren't worth as much because they're not as, you know, rare uh, or valuable. Um, I'm going to say for all of the teeth in total, he's willing to offer probably about 100 gold. Hmm. Nah, I'd rather make these into arrows before that then. Yeah. They don't really Fair have enough. Teeth. They're, no, yeah. that's fine. Wait a minute. I do have this, though. I have the Remoraz fin. You do. Do you want to sell that? <clears throat> yes. Okay. They'll happily take that for 200 gold pieces. Uh, fuck it. Sure. Why not? Okay. Just note that off and gain 200 gold. Yep. Yep. All right. Uh, the tongue is gone. The tentacles. Uh, well, I'm giving one to Iggy, so. We'll, so we'll deal ice. with that. You'll send me a list yeah. after the game and we'll get that. Yeah, away. sure. All right. All right. Uh, and my last thing for the night, and I promise I will be done, uh, I'm going to go to... I'm going to find Doros or someone from the guard that I know and give them the halfling amulet. Okay. Yeah, easy enough. You find Doros uh, on his way, kind of doing his last rounds for the night, uh, and you give him the amulet, and he nods, taking it, and he hands it off to Grinelda, and Grinelda kind of turns and goes, 
We'll file it in for a missing item, and we'll see if anyone will claim it. Thank you. This is very nice of you, Task. Tash just nods and then walks out. I'm ready to go to my tavern and have a drink. Okay. Wait a minute. What? Mm, fuck. Mm. Oh, this. Uh, fuck. Okay, so... Are we with him when he when he turns the locket in? I mean, I mean you, that's up to you. I just realized something. Wait just a minute. I think I might be able to help out with this. Uh, I'll take the locket. I'll look at the picture of the husband and the wife, and I'm going to cast scrying. Mm. Okay. Mm. Uh, can you click scrying for me? Yeah, here comes a wall. Yeah, I just gotta see which. <laughs> Uh, it's like a baby wall. Because you haven't met the person. Possession or garment? I do have a possession. So, so minus two. Minus four. So minus, minus two. Yeah. Okay. So is that minus two to my roll or minus two to the saving throw? Minus I assume that's probably two. minus two to whatever DC it is, right? Yeah. No. No, well, minus it's two. It's a safe modifier. It, it helps me, so they get minus two to their saving. Oh, first, that makes first sense. hand is plus five, then that why that makes no sense. Because you've just met the target. That's it. You've if only the met target the target knows you're casting the spell, it can fail voluntarily if it wants to be observed. Yeah, they don't know uh, you, and you have a possession of theirs. You don't so know them. They, first hand. they make the wisdom saving throw at minus two. The target does. Mm. That seems so backwards, though, because then they would get a plus five if you knew them. If you met them. Target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified by how well. So yeah, it says the saving throw is modified by minus two. Okay, so yeah, so, so the saving throw is modified yeah. by minus two. I think yeah, they have to beat sense. it to be seen. Oh, they rolled really high. Unfortunately, they rolled a 19, natural 19. Isn't that a minus, good not thing? Minus two is 17, which is my spell save DC. No, your spell so, save is minus two, because you only have a possession. Suck up. Instead of instead of a plus five, because if you oh. do the first hand, you would get your you would get a plus five to your saving throw. That's how it feels. Cause like it feels backwards. You know what I mean? Like why yeah. would yeah, why yeah, would they yeah. get a plus five to resist if you know them firsthand? Yeah, that that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that's well, where I I'm think, coming from. I so. think it's I think it's to the DC. So like I think it is the DC. Yeah, yeah. that's Save what I mean. Like, the DC yes, is there. Okay. Yeah. What's so, confusing spell. It is. Yeah. It's poor, well, this is an example of well. poorly worded fifth edition thing, but we love this game. Um, so unfortunately, they do succeed with the nineteen, but Grinelda and Doros are like, "Don't worry, we'll we'll find who this belongs to. Don't worry about it." Like, thank you. All right. Um, Doros does smack you though. Uh, panic kind of gives you like a Ow. bit of like, not, not like he like smacks you. He's like, oh, shit, like, like stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? He kind of points and like does a run down his face, like doing a scar. Huh? Me? Do I have a? He does oh, like I'm... a motion with hair and then kind of like does a little feminine sort of like twist to his hips a little bit. Oh. And then looks oh. at you. Helena. He nods, and then he points over where you see a large stage being built in the center of the general lower general district. Right. Needed to do that. Uh, he looks to you, he looks you so intensely and just like does like a like a really mechanical nod, like like up down really quick, like mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh no, oh. he's motion tweeting. <laughs> <laughs> he, he like points out, I'm like. Yeah, I had some stuff to do, like saving the world stuff. It... <sighs> Fuck. Uh, Doros just kind of snorts and just walks away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, being a hero is so complicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's a human condition, uh, man. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll rush on over to the stage, and anybody else can come join me. Okay. Uh, I'll say all you guys. Uh, Borky, as you make your way, 
Um, do, 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 do. The location has you. been purchased, but the building inspector has discovered a corpse inside, which was of the creature you killed. Uh, uh, the question away. is, Mr. Building Inspector, is there anything else wrong with it aside from uh, the high amount of bodies? Uh, well, the body's rotted, causing uh, bloom and rot uh, within, mm -hmm. but we just want to make sure the body, the yeah. body is removed and the, the building is occupiable. Um, okay. So, as you know, it is derelict, correct? Um, how much would it uh, cost to, like, soup this place up a little bit, you know, sand down the wood a little bit, if I do all the heavy lifting? That will be a conversation for you and Mr. Adric Metalmain, but to my knowledge, his locale is currently closed in preparation for the victory celebration this coming week. That's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else we should be concerned about? Well, a large fellow such as yourself perhaps might be interested to know that during the festival there's going to be a fight pit. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. <laughs> Hell, well, we'll my, he watches the gnome adjust his glass. He goes, to my knowledge, you are uh, Mr. Borky the Orky, who is a champion of Alabast, and it perhaps mm. will be paramount for you to show up and really show the people who you are. But okay. that's only a recommendation. I'd, I'd, whatever you want to do is up to you. I'm going to be honest with you. The last time I was in a fight pit, hmm... Him just getting fucking bodied by Helga, like juggling him in the air and shit, like a goddamn Marvel vs. Capcom game. The time has <laughs> passed, Porky. <laughs> <laughs> Porky just shudders. All right, but so. it's, it's it's good to know though. Ah, cheese your mind. Hmm. I just want to imagine when he says that just one of the beams breaks. Jeez! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You guys make your way all together uh, to the main stage area where you see currently Zarv kind of like pointing out some things. And you watch as like uh, there's a the green kobold sage. She's the violinist. You've seen her before. And she's like, I'm terribly sorry, Zarv. And you watch as Zarv goes... Nah, it ain't no thing. Don't go worrying about it, Sage. It's all good. Okay. And she kind of scampers off. Well, look who decided to make themselves a bit less scarce. If it isn't Mr. Panic Grimtongue. I'll, I'll uh, go up to him and I'll put my hand on my hip and I'll put my other hand on his shoulder and I'll be like, Hey, I'm really sorry. I forgot to tell you I was going through something. Something came up at the last minute and it was really important. He waves his hand in front of you and goes, Hey, I just asked for help. It wasn't a job, brother. Well, I'm here now and I am ready to help. Great. You kind of look down at all your friends. We're setting up a concert, celebration concert, and was wondering if you wanted to play a set. Ooh. Oh, I would absolutely love to play a set. Great. We'll uh, fit it in the schedule. You'll have to come to the meetings for the next few days, but it's a chill Sounds affair. perfectly fine by me. Will uh, uh, Galoshlelia be making her musical debut as well? He kind of looks over her shoulder and goes, I think she wants to enjoy in the festivities given current events in the nature of visitation by them less savory types. Yeah. Hmm. Probably right. Hmm. Plus she, uh, she's got a, she's shy. Yeah. Yeah. Don't we worry. Should, we should come out of a shell a bit more. Hey, I'd say she's completely changed in the time that we've known her. Oh, definitely. All right. He kind of throws you, um, ah! he throws you a box of like, what looks oh. like set, <laughs> just <laughs> whoom, throws you off the stage. Ah! Uh, he throws you a <laughs> box of band gear and he goes, well, if you want to earn your spot, you got to earn your keep. Let's get to it. Okay. Okay. Uh, to make it easier on myself, I'm going to cast Telekinesis. 
<laughs> sure. You're such a jerk. Yeah, lights and stuff you help out. What jerk, I'm efficient. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I am and so, my strength. I, and hey, guys, Monty, Monty. Yes. I cast haste on panic. <laughs> it only lasts a minute, though, to be fair. And then he's exhausted. A minute? A minute? A minute. I'm, I'm, I'm only exhausted uh, if he loses concentration on it. Doesn't it give you much? Whatever, we'll deal with it another time. Anyway, for the sake of brevity, yeah. as the festival nears, you guys prepare. That is where we're going to end the session for tonight. Nice. Oh, what a time. Oh, Connor boy. was one of the best plays he's ever that done. That was so good. That yeah, was yeah. Incredible. I that was can't funny. even believe it. I can't All believe right. it worked. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I can't, Bye, I can't Austin. believe my son became the Frog King. Bye, Austin. <laughs> oh, God. This is 141. 141. Wow. Pokey Bonnie. Boom. Monty, I have so many swamp things. I think I have an idea for an outfit for Task. Oh my god! I, dude, I have giant Killy suit Task. Dude, I have you. You fucking jest! I have green dragon scale hides. <laughs> oh, god. and I have giant croc skin. Is it wrong? I just see you doing like the ending ten minutes of a Commando now as Task. Dude, I that was exactly what I fucking saw in my brain. <laughs> god. <laughs> Excellent. This Excellent. was fun. What a fun session this, this was. Yeah. We, we needed, so, uh, we needed Monty, this. I, I, I need to ask you a big question, okay? Uh -huh. I really need to ask you. Now, there were a lot of ways that meeting with the Frog King and their Frog God could have gone down. Yeah. Did you have Connor convinces the leader to sacrifice himself on your list of possible what is? No, because they're idiots. And then I rolled... <laughs> And, like, they heard the sound of your god, like, I still hunger, and they're just like, well, now it's my time to be part of my god. Like, that's that that was their correlation. Like, Panic was trying his best to, like, scare them away, but he, he forgot that they're kind of dumb and that they actually might. Well, at least none of my companions got eaten again. Yeah, legitimately, yeah. I was so pissed because I was randomly rolling for what the the Frogamoth was targeting, and he didn't target anybody but the, the Bullywugs, and I was like... I can't believe it. Wow. We finally fought something where someone didn't get swallowed. Honestly, to, to be fair, that was probably the easiest we ever could have had it with that fight, especially that thing, having an entire turn. Yeah. That, that thing is, like, really strong, too. Like, I don't want I don't want you guys to, like, underestimate this thing. Froghemus are legitimate threats. Like, they're mm -hmm. actually a yeah. terrifying monster. Oh, oh, no. that. Why do you think I fucking said, get on a mount that can climb this wall and get tactical advantage? legitimately like if they just hit you with your bite you're swallowed and they can fit like more than one creature in their stomach and then like their tentacles like can like grapple and like they're they're really really and they hit hard they're like bullets with like a ton of grapple abilities like they're very mm -hmm. very strong but because the bully <laughs> are so willing to die for their god that kind of didn't really translate i can imagine, <laughs> I can imagine a scenario where that plan didn't go off as well as i hoped the whole party gets eaten. I just have to keep going back in to dimension door people out. <laughs> I legitimately thought you, were, like, you wanted to get eaten and then dimension door out. I didn't realize you were going to do mislead. So I was like, sorry mm. about that. I legitimately thought that that was what the plan was, which is why I was mm. like, okay, this is what happens. Uh, no, I, I, yeah. So now we got to think of a name for this frog. You sure do. Uh, is it male or female? Uh, the frog is female because it's so big. I'm looking at chat mm. right now, and I'm seeing a specific name. Just don't name it Pathfinder? after my frog. Don't, don't name it after No, 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 not GURPS, not GURPS, not GURPS, a certain mod. Name it Pathfinder. <gasps> shell? You can name yeah, it shell. shell. Yeah, dude, it's oh. Shell. Okay. Oh. That was the, guys, that was, guys, that was the fucking 4D chess plan the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you got Shell. Shell is canon. <laughs> All righty. Zito, where can they find you? You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and uh, you can also find me on the Ever Ingot Pulmonac oh, on Patreon. Yay! Mm. Jesus. Goomba, where can they find you? No, I'm not done! Oh, oh okay. All uh, right, then. Uh, uh.
I'm scared too. You, you can take Goomba's turn. It's okay. Ah, oh, fuck, you can. As a bonus <laughs> action, my reaction. Still, as, a, as my reaction, I tell everyone to go look at Goomba. He's got a new race out. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll, uh, I'll spice that up really quick. Uh, yeah, so if you guys like the Tanuki race that I put out a little while ago, I'm following up with the Kappa race. Uh, basically, it's 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 one regular species of of the folklore Kappa from from Japanese folklore, as well as uh, five sub uh, subspecies as well. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Zito helped a whole lot passively. I uh, have really great art in there from both uh, the Gecko Ninja and Yuki Goomba, two of my two great artists I've been working with for a long time. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's also bigger, technically, than the uh, Tanuki book that I put together. So definitely go check that out. One more time. There we go. Okay. Uh, also stream Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, maybe Gundam Breaker because I've been in a Gundam mood uh, this weekend. Okay. Uh... Zito, you weren't done, so continue pitching your stuff, please. Oh no, 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 it's fine. I, I, I the, 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 the gag was I was gonna tell everyone about the to do uh, the Kappa race. Uh, <laughs> I love uh, you, buddy. I, if you want to just, just, just wait out. I have stuff for the Patreon going up fairly soon. Uh, I have. As a joke, I have a uh, legally distinct movement as a playable race, so good trolls. If you want to be a good troll, I got you. You'll be you'll be on there. Uh, followed up by uh, the plant race, which is called the Pharaoh. I'm still working on that, but that's my next big project. Uh, watch my streams. I do artwork. I got commissions to do for Patreon and uh, SRB2K cart. Uh, a certain orange cat might be playable soon. Oh, no. Yep. Finally. I got. I got to do the voice. Uh, I can play as part. Heathcliff. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> Technically, dude, dude, I'm. I'm so fucking happy you didn't go for Garfield. That's all I, I know, I'm, right? I'm grateful for. You got. You got. You got to go for the RC Cola. You always got to go for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Uh, hey, Edward Bosco, where can I find you? Me. Hi, my name is Vero Tanis. What's up? What? Watch your face. <laughs> Prince That's Division good. joke. Prince Prevision joke. Yeah, just anyway, Prince for Prince those of you that Prince don't Prince watch the Prince Division every Saturday night at 7 o'clock PST, you should. You'd get that joke. You can also find me at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. Bam. Awesome. Hey, Distortion Devil, where can they find you? That's me, and they can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil. Uh, I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm playing Yakuza and a lot of Among Us lately. Uh, but enough about my stream. Uh, let me tell you about Dead House Sonata. What? Uh, it's the, yeah, it's going to be the free-to-play action RPG. You play with up to six of your friends to play as the undead to fight the living. And right now, uh, for the month of September, for every 15 subs that not only myself, but twitch.tv slash Varric Khaldun... Uh, Sailor Midgard, Calypso694, uh, Faceless Mike, and Gaia Green get. We'll be giving away one Founders Pack for every 15 subs each of those channels get uh, at the end of the month. And also, notably, I will be a making a guest appearance on the Dead House Sonata live, Dead House Sonata live stream uh, on the 30th of this month. Twitch.tv slash D-E-A-D-H-A-U-S. S O N A T A. Uh, to reveal the new key visuals for Dead House Sonata. Uh, if you like Eldritch Horror, if you like Bloodborne, then I think you will enjoy that stream in particular. Uh, so be sure to tune in on the 30th, 4 o'clock Eastern Time. Awesome, awesome. Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you, dude? You can find me at twitter.com slash Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. That's A-E-O-N Pro Tech Gaming. Also, I forgot to announce it at the start, but if you are a fan of the Animus, check out uh, Decadence uh, streaming on Funimation. Uh, episode 4 dropped today, and you can hear me as Gomez in that episode. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So check it out. Really excited to join that crew. That show is gorgeous. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll be back here on Saturday. For some Ravenloft goodness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm so excited for Ravenloft. I am yeah. so excited. I can't yeah, next... wait to make Bosco suffer. 
Next week is going to be the last Unexpectables episode before Orktober. It's bittersweet, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun with Orktober. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yes, we are. Yeah. All right. So, I too uh, Monty, where can they find you? Oh, right. I completely forgot about that. I got uh, We got to do us, too, as well. Right. Uh, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Tomorrow, hopefully, will be um, Devil May Cry 4 Ultra mm -hmm. Baby Mode Edition. Um, so check that out. And if you want something way more chill, definitely check out my Final Fantasy IX streams on Sundays. They're really, really nice. I really look forward to them, and I really, really enjoy them. Um, and all the uploaded episodes are on YouTube. I'm actually going to upload uh, an episode probably tonight. So definitely come and check that out. Awesome, awesome. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash Takahata101, where tomorrow it's all about Among Us. Among Us tomorrow over twitch.tv slash Takahata101. And I believe all of us at Team Four Star are going to murder each other. I'm looking like I'm right across the table right now at Zito. <laughs> I'm just like... Ouch, I mean, I only got no. to play the imposter once. I mean, you know, I'm a good boy. Hey, Zito was only the imposter once. That sounds pretty sus. Yeah, that no, I, sus. I, 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 guys, I think it was Connor. Yeah, yeah, you're I probably right. Yeah, probably right. Mm, Unless Connor. it was Monty. <laughs> da, 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 what? Da, da, da. What? As well, uh, after uh, on Tuesdays, I'll be playing Alan Wake. I'm gonna try and beat Alan Wake American Nightmare. Let's see if I can get it done in one big play session. Because uh, starting after that, hopefully on Tuesdays. I will be playing Alien Isolation, and we're going to have a lot of fun with that, I think. A lot of fun on that! So, yeah, aside from that, no wrestling this week. Wrestling back next week. And, and yeah, that's it for yeah, me. So Couple... is this ball fly. It was pretty sus. They haven't said anything. <laughs> it's true. It's, I was going to say, I mean, I just, I, I know they're new to the game, but still. Wall fly, like... what do you have to say to your defense? Guil gu guilty is charged. Mm, yep. Guys, I I'm I, guys, I'm serious. I, I this is the first time I've ever played Imposter though. Uh huh. I'm sure. just I'm just saying Connor's awfully quiet. <laughs> All right, who do I we just who do down? We, who do we want to raid? I have an idea of who to raid. Uh, uh, real quick, before we raid here, can I just uh, while you're deciding that real quick here, I'd like to thank uh, salute headshot salute oh, right. space band monster, Zach Oduo gifting a sub to uh, Shogun Shogani, I Grim twenty one. As well as the Collide Escape, Keenan Eldari, thank you for the subs, you guys. John Soul Reaper, Sir Thomas, uh, thank you so much, guys. Sir Thomas Percy with the 500 bits. What class I I is Oz, Monty? Uh, Sir Thomas Percy is asking. And 500 bits from Alcohol Lock Chalem's least favorite episode. <laughs> episode title. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> ouch. Oof, I turned ouch. it around. Drake Hunter 335, thank you for the 300 bits as well. And Probate with 1,000 bits, title idea, Toad in the Hole. Really All right, good. that's not bad. Oh, yeah, we I... need a name. Yeah. There's, okay, we... Oof. But you come up with one? I, I thought we did at the start. Commit to your god? Was that one? No, of no, no, frog, no frog, fractions. frog fractions. Frog fractions. Yeah, but I like Kermit that to was, your that god. That was the stream name you in in your episode god, title. Yeah, cool with that. I really like Kermit to your god. Kermit to your Kermit. god. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Uh... I will concede to this. But thank you for the toad in the hole name probate. That's not bad. I would have put thank, my vote on that you. one. Thank you very much for that that nice little uh, toss you just gave me there. That was a nice uh, softball you lobbed at me, probate. <laughs> Skyblaze, thank you for the bits and Kane time with the last bit drop here. Fifteen hundred bits from Kane time. See you guys in the vods. Hey, Kanye. Hey. Should, should I, should I, I as well? Should I explain that to everyone just really quick? Like what yes. the fuck the toad in the hole means? Uh, <laughs> It, it, it just it just goes back to like whenever I start off a party in D and D or like just anytime there's ever like a bar scene that needs to be an introductory area, I always just called it the toad in the hole, and it just stuck with the, me throughout my entire career as a DM. Oh, that's, that's fun. Pretty cool. Uh, it's like a tr it's like a I, signature. It's like oh well, you're at the toad in the hole. It's like, like ah, the yeah, beginning. like like in like in every game, in every game, there's always a toad in the hole. That's my signature. I I have a suggestion of of who we should raid. I also Ooh. have a suggestion. Who do you want, Connor? Um, Connor? Well, uh, like I said earlier, um, there's a couple of other streamers besides myself that are uh, doing September for Dead House Sonata. And sure. one of them is on right now. Uh, it's Sailor Midgard, and he has two viewers. Oh, oh. I'm down yeah, with that. Let's I'm, do I'm it. cool with that, yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, let's let's, let's, let's really can you, can, can you type their name to general uh, for me? Yeah. 
Hang on. Uh, here we go. It Get is. his ass. <laughs> I believe that is correct. Yes. Can the can the raid message be getting froggy with it? Well, I gotta say, Monty, I always knew that you were gonna do like story arcs for like Greckles and Panic and Borky and uh, who's the other one? Uh, Zito. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never uh, knew you were gonna do an entire arc just for Froggy's mom. I know, right? Oh, uh, I really yeah. enjoy the Shahalem arc. I know, yeah, it's pretty good. He runs our pretty good. All righty, so getting Froggy with it. Go. Getting foggy with it. All righty, guys, go be nice, go be kind. And thank you all for so much for coming to the Unexpectables, and we will see you next time.